Um, can you just confirm with Kushal in the chat, Mackenzie, if he can see and hear us in all of those channels? Yeah. And do you intentionally have, is the restream redirected to, never mind. All good? Yeah. I could okay. see a tab, but it's closed now. Okay. Good morning, uh, everyone. This is Dave Rosendahl and Mackenzie here at Mindfire, and uh, we're just getting everything loaded up. So you're going to hear a little background noise and uh in this case, discussion? you can be 95% confident that in most people, it's the morning. That what? And mo it's the morning oh, yeah. for most people. Exactly. Hold on. Okay, cool. So um, can we get a confirmation from you, Kushal, that you can see us across all the channels? Oh, there's my okay, man, thanks. Michael Landis. Winner, winner, chicken dinner over there in uh, LinkedIn. And Mackenzie, our favorite, Brian, is here as well. Brian. Yep, yep, yep. Good morning, Sandy. It's good to see everyone. Uh, folks, we're starting in about 12 minutes officially here. Um, so we're just doing sound checks and uh, audio check. Of course, Kushal's having issues. <laughs> What's new? No, no. I think that he might not be able to get into the webinar, but he doesn't need to, right? Oh, yeah. To yeah, yeah. No, Kushal, you need to check the you live stream. But... There. I got it. I got yeah, it. help him out. Help a brother out. All right, so let's do a sound check here. USB audio device, that's correct. Video can be seen. Uh, are we recording? Let's confirm that. Guys and girls, if you've ever done this before, you know how much uh, equipment is required and cooperation from multiple people. So uh, that's what we're doing right now. We're getting everything set up. Hey, Dave, you know, I have a good idea. What you should do this upcoming, maybe tomorrow or something, is you should give everyone a behind the scenes look of your studio. Mm, everyone loves behind the I'm scenes. I'm sure people huh? want, yeah. Yep. And then they can see sort of, I mean, I know what it takes. We've done it before, right? But a lot of people yep. don't see the behind the scenes. So it's kind of fun to get yep. a Good point. back look. And so you're going to try to go get uh, dressed in the next few minutes, correct? <laughs> yeah, you're going to share that with everyone in the world. <laughs> well, because it keeps going to your name and there's no, no, nothing to see. Uh, let's put it that way. <laughs> I'm a... All right. Good morning, Kamisha. Brian Abdullah. knows if you jump on the early Peloton, you know. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, we're going to start here in uh, just a few minutes. You haven't missed anything yet. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go on Do Not Disturb so my family doesn't freak out. And uh, let's go ahead and start broadcasting on Zoom as well. And uh, so now everyone uh, on Zoom should be able to see us. Kushal, uh, you should be able to see us on Zoom here in just a minute. Uh, folks who are on LinkedIn, Facebook, wow. YouTube. What's up, Mac? Look at all the early birds. They're just flowing in. Yeah, yeah. They're so coming fun. in quickly. I like the pulled and release. That's like when everyone comes in at the same time. Yeah, it's cool. Mackenzie, if you can confirm with uh, Kushal that he's seeing us on Zoom. And, and <laughs> Zoom folks, if you just came in, go over there and drop a hello in the chat. Let's make sure we're all dialed in. Uh, let's see. Chat is with all panelists. That's good. So McKenzie should be able to see it. Guys and girls, if you just got here, thank you for being here early. Go over to the uh, chat, whether that's in Zoom or in LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, YouTube, and just drop a hello. And uh, we want to make sure that we can uh, see your correspondence. So I've got Dan in Las Vegas. Uh, Simon's here. Jenny's here. Jason's here. Michael is here. Kevin is here. Hello, everybody. It's good to see all of you. I see a lot of new names and uh, also some familiar ones. Hey, Mackenzie, if you don't mind, grab the uh, LinkedIn uh, URL there in the uh, talking notes and let's go ahead and paste that in uh, wherever you can. Folks, if we're not connected, I want to make sure that we get connected on LinkedIn. We're going to be talking about LinkedIn quite a bit today. So Mackenzie's going to put that there in the chat for all of you. Go send me a connection request now while we still have time. Uh, we got about nine minutes left before the official start. And uh, thank you all for being here early. I see a number of people coming in. Mac, did you get that uh, that link? Yep. Cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, folks, from behind the scenes here on my end, I can see some of the chat in Zoom. I can see some of, the, some of it in Facebook. I can see LinkedIn over here on my right. I can see my team over here. There's just a lot going on on this end to, uh, to make all of this stuff happen. So thank you for being here. Thank you, Mackenzie, for pasting that in. And uh, I, I'm guessing that for a lot of you who are here, you early birds, uh, this is probably not your first webinar, I assume. Uh, so I just want to let you know a few things as we walk into this uh, time together. First of all, 
This is probably not going to be like any other webinar that you've attended in that um, we are very energetic. Uh, we move quickly. We give you a lot of information and we keep it very interactive. So um, you're not going to fall asleep. We're going to be asking you to use those little fingers and engage with us in chat, which is why I'm asking you to go over there and say hello. We've got some polls for you. Um, and so wherever you happen to be hearing us or seeing us from right now, hey, Frank, I see you. Hey, Patrick, I see you over there on LinkedIn. Um, know that this is going to be some really um, informative time together. Okay, that's the goal. If you've, if you've tried to solve the problem that we're talking about today, leads and sales, especially with how difficult it is right now during this current season, and if you haven't been able to do it, I just want to let you know it's probably not your fault. Um, there's a lot of information out there. I know it can be confusing. I know that times are tough. And because of all of those things put together, we can get overloaded. And that overload can keep you from success. That's okay. I'm here to help you understand it today. Um, I'm really excited to be able to break it apart for you. And I know that you're going to find a tremendous amount of value um, in it. All right, Mackenzie, it looks like we're good. Um, I've got Buddy over there from GPA. Awesome. Our friends over at GPA. Folks, if you just jumped in, you haven't missed anything yet, please go over to the chat wherever you're seeing or hearing us. This is Dave Rosendahl here. We've also got Mackenzie um, behind the scenes, Jessica, Suzanne, Kushal, Iram, Anthony. Who am I missing there, Mackenzie? There's just a whole host of people that help uh, put on these training sessions. And so um, it may look like it's just me here, but please know there's a bunch of people here uh, ready to support you in this training. Hey, guys and girls, if you've been concerned in the past that um, you know, you just can't succeed with modern marketing, things like LinkedIn and, and, and the stuff that we're talking about today. Let me help put those fears to rest before we jump in here um, to the material. You can do this. I know that because we have many, many members who um, felt similarly to you, folks who have gone through this training, similar sessions like this, and have come out the other end being able to succeed at this stuff. Uh, in fact, and I think we have an example of this here later in the um, in the material. There's companies that are that are tens of years old, dozens of years old. We even have a company that's 100 and what is it, McKinsey? I think 135 years old that is learning these new strategies yep. and tactics and is succeeding. Were you confirming that? I think it's 135. I was confirming. Yeah, it's just incredible. So whether you're just starting or you know you're the proverbial old dog learning a new trick you're going to be able to do this. Um, so I'm excited that you're here. I'm appreciative of your time. I see folks still coming in the room here. Um, let's see from uh, Mindfire team. Looks like we're all good. Awesome. Zoom, if you just jumped into Zoom folks, please go over there and say hello. I wanna know where in the country or the world you are dialing in from. Please go drop it in there into the chat. Say, hey, Dave, McKenzie, Mindfire team, we're in wherever you happen to be. Uh, I see Kushal over there in Zoom, and he's saying good morning to everybody. Uh, yes, this is for the printing industry as well. Uh, so I see a question over on LinkedIn as to whether this is for the print industry. We're going to be giving a lot of examples today um, from commercial print, um, agencies, uh, B2B organizations, uh, solopreneurs, uh, startups. There's just a whole uh, list of organizations that we're not only showing you examples from, but also... Um, just a variety of industries and, and people, meaning different roles within an organization who have been able to adapt this. So uh, Nidhi, I hope I pronounced your name correctly over there in, in LinkedIn. Yes, this is, this is um, for, for print companies. Holy cow, Mackenzie, the, the comments are just coming in like crazy. Jennifer saying it's lunchtime over there in Michigan. Wow, we got Simon from Switzerland. Uh, Clem is ready for this great webinar. Ed, Edna is in Arizona. My family was just in Arizona. It's cool. Uh, Steve Jenkins is in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, Steven is uh, from Custom Display Solutions. My man, Leon, is in Dallas. Leon, it's good to see you. Awesome. We have Dubai. We have Karachi from Pakistan. I feel like that's the first that I've seen from Pakistan in one of our webinars. And we have Matthew Parker from Matthew Parker. <laughs> Enough said, right, Matthew? That's all we got to say. <laughs> Ari is here. Tariq is in the house. Tiny House Leader is here. Uh, Troy from Dayton is here. Awesome, folks. Now, as I mentioned um, in some of the uh, material that we sent you in advance of this training, 
this is going to be a professional grade training. Okay. So make sure you have a notepad ready. I've got mine right here. Okay. Um, get those notes, whatever it is that you use to take notes, get those ready. Last week, actually, I think it was you, uh, Clem, wasn't it? You're, you're here with me. You sent me what three pages of handwritten notes that you took in one of our other sessions. So I know that you're going to get a lot of ideas. You're going to uh, want to take notes on some of this. We are recording this. Um, we will make it available sometime later today for a limited amount of time. This is training that we normally charge for. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that here in a minute when everyone's here, but just be ready to take notes. I'm expecting uh, somewhere around 90 minutes of instruction. And then I'm going to leave plenty of time for Q&A because I know there's going to be questions. Actually, McKinsey, I think every so often throughout the material, we've got a couple slots for you to kind of, uh, kind of see what the audience is, is questioning and what they're wondering. And I'll let you pitch those questions at me, maybe one or two. Um, so folks keep those questions coming in. McKenzie is the one who's going to be here in zoom. Kushal is over there in, where is he? He is in YouTube land. He is in LinkedIn land and he's in multiple places on Facebook. So as McKenzie calls it, we are opticasting since we're the opti channel kings here and queens. We are opticasting coming to you wherever it is best for you. So if you just got into Zoom, go over there and say hello. If you haven't told us where you're dialing in from, please do that. I want to know. There's Craig Hath. He says, good morning to the Mindfire team. Danielle, greetings from Chicago. Power outage here until the 15th. Wow. So doing my best to stay connected. Danielle, wow. Lots of lots of things going on in the world these days. Well, folks, officially, we've got about a little under a minute here um, before we get started. And uh, I'm, I'm just so honored that you would all be here. Um, like I've said, we've got folks joining from Zoom. We've got you in multiple locations online. Uh, we've got Tom from Torrance, Linda from Reno, Nevada, Tim from Dallas, Anthony Baker, my man back from headquarters. Uh, Lane is in England. Wow, cool. Craig is in Oceanside. Awesome. I love knowing where you're all from. In about uh, 20 seconds, I'm officially going to get started here. I'll go ahead and advance the title slide here. Um, I want to keep us on time, but I also want to give everyone time to get into the room because I know sometimes uh, folks fall a little bit behind. So if you just joined men and women, you haven't missed anything yet. I'm going to spend a few minutes getting everybody ready and on the same page. And uh, we'll do that here in just a few seconds. So if you're ready, drop a yes, wherever you are in the chat, in social, and hit the like button if you're on LinkedIn so that more people will see this and can be um, helped by this material. The title of what we're talking about today is the underground playbook for growing your leads and sales. And we're going to show you how to do that using a social strategy, social selling strategy that very few people know. In fact, the data show it's about half of a percent. Okay. So once you learn to do this, and, and as I mentioned at the beginning, I know that anyone can do this once you have the roadmap, once you have the strategy. And that's what I want to show you today. Okay. So as we give everyone a few seconds to get in, I see everyone saying they're ready. Um, as you're getting those virtual seats warmed up and audio and video ready to go, let's get to know each other just a little bit. I'm Dave Rosendahl. I'm going to officially introduce myself here in a second. I recognize a lot of the names here, um, but some of them are new. So what I want to do now is I want to launch a quick poll and I want to give you maybe 30 seconds um, to answer this question. So McKenzie, um, you should be able to see this. And folks, if you're on uh, LinkedIn or if you're on Facebook, just drop your answer in the chat, okay? Got three questions so I can get to know you a little bit better. What industry are you in? That's the first question. Um, how, how many people are in your company? And what's your role there in the organization? Then I'm going to share this with you because it's always uh, interesting to know who, you're, who you uh, are in the class with here. So I'm going to give you another, let's see, polling's been open for 27 seconds. And uh, here in Zoom, I've got about 50% of you having voted. The numbers are ticking up like crazy. I see Tari is here from Maverick Label. Douglas Campbell is here. Uh, folks, I'm going to give you another 20 seconds. If you are in Facebook or you're in LinkedIn or YouTube, drop your answer to these questions in the chat. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to close this down in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Here we go. So we've got most of our friends here today. Uh, ah, let me share that so you can all see it here. Most of our friends here today are in the print industry, followed by marketing and advertising. Yep, agencies and such. IT, computer software, and other. 
Uh, we've got a tie here between, uh, that doesn't put this in order. That's interesting. So the, the, the second question here in terms of how many employees looks like the most is 51 to 200. Awesome. And you can see how the other results break down there. And then in terms of who, who's here right now, see, you've got a lot of um, senior people here, owners, partners, CXOs, uh, which is wonderful. Thank you all for sharing that. That's very helpful to know. Um, and I hope that was informative for, for those of you who just jumped in as well to understand who else is here in the room with you. We've got a variety of people um, that are here. So let's make sure that you're in the right place, okay? <laughs> Today is for you, men and women, if you resonate with any of the following. You could be in leadership and marketing and sales. Uh, you could work for a commercial printer, uh, marketing and advertising company, self-employed, 51 to 200 employees, any of those things that you just told me there. But if you're feeling any of these, um, that you can't reach your customers, can't reach your prospects, uh, frustrated that people aren't at work, no one's replying to your emails or your calls, or that you're not getting leads right now. It's kind of dry like the desert. These are things that people actually sent in to me in, in advance of the class. Or maybe some of you are getting leads, but you're not getting much conversion, like, like they go dark on you. Um, or some of you are saying, look, we used to shine in person, right? When we would have face-to-face -face communication at a customer's location, or visiting a prospect or at a trade show, we would do well. But how do we do this in the digital only realm now, right? Um, or some of you are saying, look, I am selling, but I'm not getting those repeat orders the way I want. So how many of you resonate with at least one of the things here? Give me an X in Facebook and LinkedIn in Zoom chat, if at least one of these is on your mind. If these resonate with you, at least one of them, you're in the right place, okay? And my goal, I see all the X's coming in here. My goal for you is to help you get from point A, okay? Point A is where you are now to point B, which is getting through all of those issues, okay? All the marketing and sales communication issues we just looked at, revenue, et cetera, okay? And this red line here represents the path you might take if you were to try to learn all of this stuff on your own, this new social selling opti-channel strategy, okay? I wanna help you get from A to B, but I wanna help you do it like this, okay? I want to get you there faster, and I want to give you a vehicle, which is what I'm showing you today, to get there in a more efficient way. It doesn't mean, men and women, that everything is going to be magically fixed tomorrow. You can see there's still some ebbs and flows here in your progress there. There's no magic bullets, but I don't want you to wander in the desert for 40 years, okay? You can certainly try this stuff on your own. You might eventually get there, or you might not. My goal is to get you there in a way that's faster and easier by showing you everything that I can possibly do here in the next 90 minutes to give you what you need, okay? And so for my quantitatively minded people here, my goal, my hope is to be able to show you how to 2X your situation. So if, if you're needing more leads, how to 2X your lead flow, and then 2X everything that follows from that conversations, sales, engagement, repeat orders and such, okay? Without spending money on ads, without hiring more people um, and in doing it in a way that's much more predictable. Right now, we know the world is crazy, right? Very unpredictable. So let's figure out how to do this. I'm gonna show you how to do this in a way that's much more predictable. Now, I want you to take notes, as I said, this is gonna be a professional grade training. Get your notepad out like this or whatever you're typing on. Um, take notes on everything that we're going through. We are going to do Q and a here in just a minute, and you're going to be able to implement this strategy coming out of today's class. Uh, I'm going to, I'm not going to hold anything back. Okay. We're going to give you everything at the end. If you would like our help or my staff's help in holding your hand and getting up and running even more quickly, whether you're a single, uh, person organization, or you have 51 to 200, or you, you run sales, you're marketing, you oversee the company, I'm going to give you a chance at the end where we can help you do it even faster. Okay, so stay tuned for that. Um, but you're going to learn everything in this class that you need to know to put this into place. Okay. And so my goal in the next 90 minutes is to get you to see to help you see how opti channel social selling is the key that you're missing in creating more leads and sales, okay? And I know those words might be new to you. I use them for a very specific reason. They have a very specific definition. And I'm gonna show you the proprietary framework that we've discovered, uncovered, and refined that makes it much easier for you to achieve those results, okay? Now, really quick, uh, yes, a recording is going to be available. I see those questions coming in. Um, since uh, some of you are new to the MindFire OptiChannel community, real brief, I'm just gonna introduce myself officially now. I'm Dave Rosendahl. 
uh, president and co-founder here at MindFire. I get the wonderful opportunity of being able to speak to folks like you around the world. These days, a lot of it is electronic, like we're doing right now. Um, but I love being in front of people and helping folks uh, solve these tough, tough marketing and sales challenges that many organizations face. And we do that through technology, through services, through training like we're doing today. For many years, as some of you know, um, more years than I care to mention, we've been working with what we call service providers. These are printers and agencies. Many of the folks that are here today fall into that category where we've been helping you grow your leads, grow your sales, and do similar things for your customers. So we've got a lot of service providers that we've worked with, thousands of global brands um, that we have helped understand how this works, okay? And what's, what's cool now is that there's big OEMs, for those of you who are in the print world, like, like HP, for example, that pay us tens of thousands of dollars to teach this kind of material to their clients. And you're getting it for free today, okay? I'm giving you um, a lot of the insight that you're gonna need in order to be able to take the next steps. Now, uh, if I rewind though, a few years, it, it may look like, hey, you guys have had a lot of success, a lot of good things going for Mindfire. We're very blessed. But if I rewind a few years back to tell you kind of how we discovered this new framework, at the time we ran what we thought was a fairly decent marketing and sales operation, okay? Later, actually, we found out that we were pretty wrong, but I'm getting ahead of myself. What happened, and this is where you're going to want to st start to take notes, folks, and I'm giving you the arc of the story here that will teach you the framework. What happened is that we started to notice that our sales and marketing was underperforming. In fact, I remember taking this picture here on the screen. I was working with our engineering team on one of our products, Mindfire Studio. Some of you um, know that great technology. And despite what we were doing in, in the product, what we were hearing from our marketing and sales was that, you know, we couldn't, we couldn't reach people, that we would send emails and we would get no reply, that we had a great product, but no one was interested, uh, that we were using social, but no one was calling us back or engaging. And then the, the favorite of mine was that, hey, our database is like void of any new activity. We don't have any new leads coming in. Does any of that sound familiar? Drop a yes in the chat if any of that resonates with you. Drop a yes. Facebook, LinkedIn, Zoom, wherever you happen to be. So as these problems started to compound, so did our uh, anxiety about the situation, meaning our leadership team and, and me and, and everybody who was kind of working on this in the company started to think, what the heck's going on here? We got to figure this out. We had some leads coming in. Um, we were doing things like trade shows, um, which you know are expensive, but there was some interest coming in. Uh, but the, the key was for us that there was, there was something wrong. We noticed that we needed desperately to figure out how to create more demand for our products and services in order to, honestly, to stay alive. And so I was asking myself, we were asking ourselves, what's going on? What has broken? What has suddenly changed? How come we can't reach our, our customers and our prospects? Why, why is all of this happening? And honestly, men and women, I am going to be very vulnerable with you in today's training, okay? I'm not going to hold anything back. If I'm honest with you, it was scary. I thought to myself, <laughs> what if it's over? What if there's something so wrong that it can't be fixed? What the heck's going on? And so as I mentioned to you, what we were doing at that time, our marketing, and some of you may resonate with these things. We were doing trade shows, as I mentioned. We were doing some social. We were sending out emails, marketing automation, email blasts, all of the usual stuff. All of you men and women know those things, right? This is what we were, what we were using at the time. It all kind of came to a head for me on this day here when I took this picture. This is uh, February 24th, a few years back. It was a Wednesday. And we took, we only had two kids at the time, but we took our little girl here, Emmy, uh, to Disneyland for her birthday. And I'm the kind of guy that takes pictures of everything. I'm always documenting life. If you go on later with us in further training, you're gonna know why that is. Some of you already know. But as we were walking along from the parking lot to the park, I remember taking this picture because I had my phone, I had my phone in my hand trying to hide it from my wife and kids. And I was texting back to the office asking, how are our sales doing? And it was disgusting. <laughs> it was not good. So here I am trying to pretend to be with my family, like literally at the happiest place on earth, right? But inside just worried sick about the situation. Um, not having leads, not having this kind of activity that men and women, I know a lot of you are experiencing. These things have significant implications on running our organization. I don't need to tell you that. You guys and girls know that. But in that moment, I was completely unable 
to be present with my family because of worry over work. How many of you know that feeling? Give me a one in the chat, wherever you are, men and women, if you run your organization, you oversee marketing or sales, and you know that feeling of inside, something's very wrong, but on the outside, you're trying to be there present with your family. So I remember, actually, we're getting on It's a Small World. Now that song's probably stuck in your head. Um, I remember thinking, I got to figure out what the heck is going on. Where the hell have all the leads gone? Why has it completely dried up? So I'm, you know, smiling on the outside, on the inside, frankly, worried sick. I didn't want to continue to have family moments like this and not be able to enjoy them. It really robs you. You guys and girls know this. A lot of us are feeling this right now. It robs you of something inside. So as I mentioned to you, we were using some fairly standard strategies, okay? Actually, McKinsey, who's on the line, who's going to be here in a second with us, um, was, was working with me at the time. We started to work more closely together. And so we took over the marketing operation and started to analyze what was going on. Here's what we found. There were a few things that were actually working, a few things that actually had a little life in them. And that was content marketing, something you've probably all heard of, right? Um, so what we decided to do is put more um, oomph, if you will, into the content, into content marketing. And we started to get more leads. There were signs of life, okay? So there was like a little ray of hope. But we ran into a problem. Um, this approach, doing content marketing, while it works, there's some significant um, roadblocks in that process. The problems are like uh, that it's time consuming. We, we, we had situations where it was difficult to create this content. And, and one of the ones that irked me the most was you could put all of this time into creating something, one of these great pieces of content, and you would put it out there and nothing would happen. Okay. And so we found that there were some problems. And as I was trying to wrestle through this and think, okay, so the sales team, marketing teams are telling us that we're not getting enough leads. There are some things that seem to be working. Um, and we're in this state of red alert. It was a tough, tough time. I have to admit in my um, mind, in my heart, I started thinking, you know, what if what's the worst case scenario here? I mean, we could lose the company if we don't figure this out. That's how important this is. The fire everybody, let everyone go. I've got three kids to feed. Now I've got four. We've, we've grown a little bit since then, right? Who knows what? It's not a fun situation. It was then in that moment, and trust me, everyone, I'm bringing this together. You're going to understand why this is so, so important here. I remembered that a little after our first daughter was born that I had stumbled my way into Target to buy diapers. And as I was walking in right over here, someone caught my eye and he was clearly homeless. He was disheveled. And I could tell from my senses that, you know, he'd been on the streets for a while. Normally I'm ashamed to say I keep walking, but that day I stopped. I'm so glad I did because it changed so much for me. His name is David, just, just like mine. And we ended up having a conversation, spending time together. Um, and that conversation changed so much. Really, for me, it was because I learned, and this is more on the humanistic side, that what separates me from him, you from my friend Dave, that margin is razor thin. And it's, it's especially true for a lot of people right now, as I'm sure you know. But that conversation really shook me. So when I went home, I started writing. Writing for me is kind of um, a cathartic experience, okay? So I started writing it, and I decided on a whim to put it on my personal blog. I, I wrote how I spent time with Dave. Actually, I ran into another buddy there at Target. We ended up buying him some shoes. Um, we took him to Five Guys Burgers and, and, and bought him lunch. And I sat there talking with him for probably an hour. I wrote about all of this, okay? Again, if you're wondering, how'd you take these pictures? That's kind of weird. I'll tell you more about that in a little bit, okay? So I started writing, taking pictures, shooting video, and sharing my experiences with this gentleman. And what happened, guys and girls, shocked me. First of all, people started bringing me wads of cash, walking up to me in public places, giving me wads of cash. Didn't expect that to happen. It was for him, not for me, for him. Second, people started asking me about MindFire, okay? From homelessness to B2B software. How, how does that happen? They would ask, what does your company do? Uh, what does your software do? Can you help me reach more customers? It seems like you guys are everywhere. Or things like, hey, we haven't talked in a while. Can you tell me more about what's up with MindFire these days? And so if I jump back to this point in this picture here where I was trying to figure out what we were going to do, I suddenly had, I guess the only way to describe it is an epiphany. 
it just, it really hit me in the face. And what I realized is after reflecting on this experience with my friend, Dave, this is what's going on. How people communicate has dramatically changed. And unless, and I'm going to personalize it to us, unless we're publishing content that touches them by giving them value in a profound and meaningful way, and unless we know how to siphon some of that engagement and redirect it back to the organization for interest in, in our company, well, by golly, the old ways of marketing and getting your message out there are going to get increasingly harder to use. And I argue now, largely, they're going to become obsolete, okay? Now, this idea may seem simple, but if you think you know what I'm talking about, I assure you, it's probably not what you're thinking when I get into the details here. I'm going to break it all down for you, okay? Um, as McKenzie says, this, is, this was an unlock for us. This kind of opened my eyes, our eyes, to the fact that communication has dramatically changed. And beyond that, we found that in business-to-business -business environment, and even in business-to-consumer environment, another profound change was happening was that specifically in B2B, almost five and a half people are involved in a decision. And we were only talking typically to one. So the way we were marketing with our marketing automation, email, landing pages, trade shows, all that stuff didn't address this core problem, okay? And so this was the epiphany, folks, that how people communicate, how B2B decisions are made, th these changes are so fundamental, so profound that they've changed our planet. What used to work um, just doesn't anymore. And I know it may sound cliche, put that aside for a moment, but technology is what's underlying this change, okay? Technology has changed everything. Some of you might be thinking right now, well, I, I am where my customers are. I am communicating well with them. But I got to tell you, folks, you're likely missing some significant opportunities. That's what I want to show you today. You might think you're at the party right now, but in reality, everyone's gone home, okay? I'm going to show you the data to back that up and show you what I mean. So what happened for us? What we decided to do is go all in on this strategy, okay? And I'm gonna show you a picture of how the strategy works here in just a second. What we found was that there was really no technology to make it easier. So we invested in a code named project called DaVinci. Some of you have heard that name. And we poured hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars into developing a technology that was really made to, I'm looking for my back scratcher right now, but to scratch our own itch. And then we realized, shoot, this can help so many, uh, many other people, okay? And so through the course of months, thousands of hours of labor, millions of dollars, a very clear strategy, a very clear roadmap emerged, okay? So if you're taking notes, you can draw this. This is what we're going to be pulling apart, okay? It's called the Opti-Channel Social Selling Framework. Give me a one in the chat, wherever you are, if you can see this. I need to make sure you can see this on the screen. Drop a one. I want to make sure you can all see this. This is an illustration that we use that we, we use to make it as simple as possible for you to understand it and then also remember it, okay? And let me walk through it. In a nutshell, men and women, here's what you gotta do and then I'm gonna break it all apart for you. Firstly, you need to figure out, as an organization, as a person, do you communicate better with words, video, or audio? And you need to commit to creating content in that modality that's best for you or your organization. That's number one. Second, you need to create that content in a way that provides the viewer value. Again, I know that sounds cliche, but if you've tried this before and you failed, it's likely because you're not doing this right, okay? Third, you need to broadcast that content in the modern social channels like Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn. LinkedIn, we're gonna talk a lot about today. And there's, and there's more, right? Specifically though, and this is where OptiChannel comes in, where... Your people are hanging out, your customers, your prospects, where the attention from them is high and the cost is very low. I call that arbitrage, attention arbitrage, okay? So you need to broadcast this content multiple times a day there. And then fourthly, you need to learn how to siphon that engagement and turn it into leads for your business, okay? Now, the big unlock for many of you here is the opti-channel part. A lot of you are missing this, okay? You've got to be in the channels where your customers and prospects are hanging out, especially right now, where it's hard to reach them on the phone or through email, they're not there anymore. And if you're having trouble, I hate to tell, tell you this so straight and direct, but it's because you're doing it wrong. You're not in the places where your customers are. Let me explain that more in a moment, okay? These are the kinds of results that we got using this process that I'm showing you today, okay? So 
Before we implemented this, we were somewhere around 79 leads per month. Where are my data friends? Where are the guys and girls that like the numbers? Go drop a number sign in the chat if you're a numbers person like me. Here are the numbers. Before, we were around 79 leads a month. Last year, we averaged around 496, okay? Now, this year, and again, I'm sharing everything with you, we're at 357 leads per month. One of the reasons why that's come down is we haven't been going to trade shows. Typically, when you go to trade shows, you get a lot of the, the list ahead of time, right? And so that, that can um, improve your numbers. In this case, as you know, we haven't been going to trade shows. So even with the pandemic, folks, we're still at 357 leads per month. Are you getting this? Do you understand what I'm saying here? This is, this is the kind of change that we experience. Now, leads are good, but what's the final arbiter? It's revenue, at least in my book. These are our uh, sales results. Um, this is just year over year, a 48% increase in revenue from this. And this is in the midst of the pandemic, okay? And 40% more customers or, or logos as we call it. So 48% more revenue, 40% more customers. And this is with all of the unpredictability, all of the crazy going on in this world. Does that make sense? Give me a yes in the chat, wherever you happen to be, if you're following this. Now, you might be thinking, well, shoot, it's cool that it works for MindFire, but does this also work for other people? Let me introduce you to Brian Galad. He was actually in LinkedIn just a second ago. He uses an aspect of the social selling framework himself. And here's what he says. Siphoning, which I'm going to show you more about, has given me the ability to amass over 60,000 leads all within my target market. I continue to use the framework, and I'm so thankful to have found a way to convert that interest into real people, meaning these are people he can engage with, with sales results in six figures already. In fact, we have a case study. Um, you know what? Drop the word Brian, his first name, in the chat, wherever you are. We'll send that to you later, okay? We have a case study written about him if you want to understand how he's applied this um, for himself and his organization, okay? So this stuff happens to normal people. Um, this stuff can happen to you, and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to know. This framework is what feeds our sales and marketing now. The playbook is clear, okay? We're able to accelerate and feed our organization with the opportunities that we need um, to grow our company. And so in the unpredictable world that we live in, this is bringing predictability to our, to our efforts. Now, before you judge me <laughs> for this picture here of me in, in, in the boat here, I'm not showing you fancy Lamborghini pictures or my boat or anything like that. The reason why I'm sharing this with you is because I'm smiling on the outside. And what this has allowed us to do is for me, for us to feel confident on the inside, okay? That's why I put it there. This was a day where I was able to enjoy time on the boat with my family. This is in, in Texas where we have some property and enjoy the fruits of our labor, okay? And it's because I know that this opti-channel social, social selling works and it's what we were missing. It's because of that that I'm able to have that feeling inside. But what's even better is that I get to share it with all of you, thousands of organizations, people like you, men and women who are here um, and help you get to a point where you, you're able to apply this in your organization. And that's super rewarding for my organization, for me personally. Um, I'm at a point in my career now where thank the Lord, um, helping you improve guys and girls is much more rewarding than the zeros in our bank account or in my personal account, okay? That's, that's a much better feeling. So that's the backstory. Let me break it apart for you now. There's three pieces in roughly the next um, 35 minutes that I wanna share with you here, okay? Uh, I'm going to try to I'm going to try to move through it as quickly as possible, but please be ready for taking some furious notes. First, I'm going to show you how, and it's kind of unorthodox. So please, please, please keep an open mind as I'm sharing this with you. Okay, um, how a completely different approach to one of the pieces here took us from broke essentially to growing in the recession that we're in right now. Okay, so that's the first thing. Second, I'm going to show you how I outsold my top salesperson using this strange strategy, okay? And I know that once I show you, because I see people do it all the time now, that you can apply it yourself too, once you know what to do. So I'm going to show you that. And then third, so many of you, we hear this all the time, say, look, this stuff is great, but I'm not getting enough new people into my ecosystem. And I don't have money for ads. Advertising marketing budgets are on hold right now, right? So I'm going to show you how we found a way to get virtually an unlimited number of prospects people coming into your world. All right. If you're ready, drop yes in the chat, wherever you are. Let's go get those notepads ready. Drop yes in the chat. All right. Here we go. Secret one, how a completely different approach to lead generation took us from broke to growing 
in a recession. And if you remember, earlier I told you just a second ago about this framework here, okay? I've modified some of the words to keep it as simple as possible. This is what we call the OptiChannel Social Selling Framework. And I wanna focus on this part right here right now. I'm gonna go deeper into the modality aspect and the value, the content, what you're creating here and the value of that content. Now, when we were doing this, when we were first kind of walking through this, we discovered that, um, as I mentioned to you, creating valuable content was really essential. And so we did things like we created a podcast. Um, if you've ever done podcasting, you know that it's not necessarily easy. It's not rocket science, but it's not necessarily the easiest thing. Uh, we invested in a lot of video content. And again, um, that takes time and some resources, but it can work very well. So we invested in audio, we had invested in video, and we also worked in uh, different kinds of eBooks and case studies, things like what you see here on the screen. Actually, this is one of our more popular pieces, three ways to connect direct mail with Facebook to increase leads. For some of you in the direct mail um, space, this is probably of interest to you. This particular piece ended up costing us, Mackenzie, you gave me the numbers earlier, somewhere around $25,000 to, to produce and, and execute. So what I want to know from, from you guys and girls, how many of you have tried creating content like this? And give me a yes in the chat if you've tried it and you found that it's not necessarily easy um, to do this or that it's time consuming and it can be expensive. I see the yeses coming in. I know that many of you have tried this and you have found it to be difficult. So these worked, but sometimes what was very frustrating to us was that we would create this content, put it out there, and it would be like this meme here, crickets. All this time, all this energy, and it didn't work. So it made me think, made us think, what the heck's going on here? Why, why is it that some of these things fall flat after all of this work? So it was then that we discovered a way to kind of understanding what's already working content-wise, meaning what's already engaging our audience, and then leverage that to get around this nasty problem. It's probably easier if I just show you. Let me show you the first step here. One night, I was laying in bed, um, multitasking, right? There with my kids and my wife, but multitasking on my phone. And I went to Facebook and I typed in direct mail. You see this up here? Can you see this, guys and girls, where I typed in direct mail? And what happened is when I searched for that, what I realized is that uh, Facebook would actually show me posts about direct mail. And I thought, you know what? Normally I go up here and search for friends. Right now I'm searching for content. That's interesting. What is, what is this all about? And what I noticed was that this was content and that content had these little indicators here. See where it says 704 likes, 268 engagements. Can you guys see that here? Can you see it? And what I realized was, huh, this is giving me a clue that this content is resonating for some reason. So what I thought to myself was, shoot, let me go over to LinkedIn and try the same thing. So I typed in direct mail over there on LinkedIn. And sure enough, I found the same concept applied there, meaning that I could search for a topic. I could look across different social channels and I could understand um, kind of what was already working by looking at these social clues. And so the next morning, I remember I was so excited by this. I ran into the ran into the parking lot. I, I dinged my car door as I was getting out, running up to the office because I wanted to share with everybody, shoot, guys and girls, does this mean that we could write content that is kind of like that, that we already know is working? Would that help us get around this problem that we're having? Or is there a way we could actually use that content ourselves? And I know you're thinking, heck, Dave, what are you talking about? How would you use someone else's content, right? I know it's a strange, unorthodox idea, but let me show you what I found. I found this tool, not a Mindfire tool. You guys, girls can go check this out on your own. It's called Snipply. Go write it down. Snipply is a, is a great tool. They have a free level, but what I, um, what I ended up doing is I, I ended up paying for it. It's about $2,000 a year because it does this for me. Check this out. It allows you to take a piece of content. Do you see this here on the screen? A piece of content you can find across anywhere on the web and it allows you to put your own banner on top of it, okay? Like this that you see down here, a, a, a call to action overlay, if you will, something that sits on top of the content. Actually, I have a good picture of it right here. Can you see this? So let's imagine that I found this blog post, which I did, and uh, I, I think that this blog post is good for my audience. What, what I can do here in step two is 
create a snipply URL that superimposes a call to action down here that links back to me, back to MindFire. Or for you, men and women, back to you, okay? So we call this the call to action overlay. So you're finding content that already works. You're creating a snipply out of it and putting your own call to action on top of it. How many of you just got a, uh, a, a light bulb go off or an aha moment when I went through that? Drop a yes in the chat, wherever you are, if that just unlocks something for you. <laughs> I see the yes is coming in. So we started sharing this content that we, forgive me for using this word, that we hijacked, okay? In, in email, in social, all the different places. And that we, we, we started to find that because we had that call to action overlay, we could siphon suck out a subset of people who are reading that content and convert them to leads for us. Now, let me give you one of my favorite uh, tools here in this area. It's called BuzzSumo. Again, if you're taking notes, write this down, look it up later. Um, instead of you know spending that time away from your kids and wife, looking on your phone and going to all the different social networks to see what's working, BuzzSumo brings all of that together. It's like a search engine for content, and it gives you all of these indications as to what's already working, okay? You can do some searches for free, um, and then if you want to up-level, which is what I did, I, just, I said we have to invest in this. It's, I think, three or $4,000 a year, but it's so worth it compared to what it costs to create one of these pieces of content on your own, okay? So it'll go and it'll find you content that's already working, contextualized, to the optimal channel for your audience. So if your folks are on Facebook, you know what's working on Facebook. If your folks are on LinkedIn, you know what's working on LinkedIn. So important, folks. That's the opti-channel part of this. Are you getting that? Does that make sense? So typically when I'm teaching this in front of people live, I can always see a couple of people going like this in the audience. And usually what they're thinking is, ah, man, I don't really think I need to copy somebody else's content. I think I could do this myself. I say, yes, you can. Of course you can. But remember this. You can always tell who the pioneers are because they have arrows in their back and they're lying face down in the dirt. <laughs> what does that mean to us? What I'm trying to say is, why do you need to recreate the wheel? Why don't you just model? Why don't you just leverage what's already working and get there faster? Or at the very least, just go and see what's working and apply that to your own content. Okay? Are you guys and girls getting this? Drop a one in the chat. I want to make sure that you're following along here. This is so important, okay? Because this is how you can decide to get to this point faster where you want to be, that point B that we showed you a second ago. You can certainly create your own content, and I encourage you to do that. But if you want to get there faster, this hijack, actually, here are the steps again. First of all, find content that's already working. Forgive me for using this word, hijack it by adding your call to action overlaid on top of it, okay, and then share it. And when you do that, you're going to start to siphon results. Actually, McKinsey suggested that I pull um, just a small snapshot of some of the leads that we create, okay? This is what we use to generate thousands of leads when we need to, okay? Same process, same system that I'm teaching you. Here's from a few days back or whenever this was. I can't see the dates here, but just the, the leads pour in, okay? And what's What's good about this is it gives you predictability and a way to experiment with what's going to work without spending a lot of time or money in the process. I hope that makes sense to all of you. Now, let me introduce you to Joanne Gore. I don't know if Joanne is here. Um, she uses some of these techniques, okay? She's picked up some of these from um, our work together. And here's what she said about this kind of process. Um, thank you. I sent out four, four proposals last week and booked three great meetings. I'm way more confident in front of the camera. So for her, she's trying to experiment in that modality of uh, being on video, okay? Now, she says something very kind here about me, but it's really about the MindFire team. I know you hear it a lot from a lot of people, but I'm so freaking glad we met on the trade show floor, meaning that what she's learned here has really been transformative for her, okay? And that's my hope for you too, men and women, is that when you learn this process, being able to get these kinds of results, and this is recent, this is during the pandemic. I'm not going and pulling from pre-pandemic times in any of these examples. This stuff is what's happening now. All right, I'm gonna take a drink of water. Mackenzie, I'm sure you've, you're getting flooded with a lot of questions and comments. Give me, give me one that you see that's been coming in and let's answer that real quick. Yeah, I think, okay, so it looks like the most common question that we're seeing is, wait a second, is this legal? Someone uh, asked, is there any copyright infringement uh, using this, you know, using other people's com content? Yep. A lot of people are asking. Got that. it. 
Got it, got it. Yep, that's that's a common question, folks. So when you use Snipply, um, it doesn't reproduce or recreate the content in any way. It uses, and, and this is kind of a geeky term, it uses an iframe. Some of you know what that is, where basically it's pulling in that original content from the original server. So whoever owns that content, um, McKinsey, I don't know who asked that question, but whoever owns that content, men and women, still gets all the traffic. They still see all their analytics, all their SEO credit, all their ad revenue, if they have AdSense, all of that is still theirs. You're still sending traffic to that page. Um, now, if somebody who sees all that traffic says, I hate traffic, I don't want more traffic on my website, they can opt out by using a little piece of code inside of that page that says, you know, don't, don't iframe me anymore, basically. But most of the people who are using this um, find that the people that you're sending traffic to appreciate that additional traffic. You're sending more people to them, okay? So hopefully that answers your question. Matt, let's hold the other ones, if you don't mind, until we get a little bit further on. But thank you, for, thank you for hitting me with that one. And folks, please keep the questions and comments coming in to us. We, we're going to answer all of them here. I just want to keep moving so that we get through all of this in a timely fashion. Let's move on to secret number two. How I outsold my top salesperson using this strange opti-channel social selling strategy. And I'm convinced that any of you can uh, do this once you learn the process, okay? So again, going back to this framework that you're gonna come to know and love here in a moment. As we work through this process, we found that even the technology that we created, the MindFire technology and the stuff that was out there really wasn't sufficient to enable this new way of communicating with people. And so, as I mentioned to you, we decided to kind of go all in on this and invest in creating our own technology uh, to help us do this more rapidly. We codenamed it DaVinci, if you remember that. And so we invested in trying to take these, these elaborate workflows, elaborate opti-channel workflows, like the one I have here on the screen, and make it a lot easier to implement. Do you want me to explain to you one of these workflows? Would that be helpful? Give me a yes in the chat if this is helpful to you. Drop a yes if you want me to work through this. Um, oh, shoot, the chat, <laughs> chat's going nuts. Okay, real brief then, I'll just take a quick detour. This is an example of a workflow that, uh, that works really well. As I mentioned, you wanna find a piece of content that resonates with your audience, right? Men and women, you know that now. Either something you write or something like what I just showed you a second ago. You add the call to action overlay on top of it. Let's say it's a piece of content that is of interest to your audience and maybe you have an ebook that's tied to that content, something that's thematically related. Put the overlay on top of that content, link to a landing page, and then drip on them with an email drip sequence. Send your audience via email, through social, through every channel where your tribe is hanging out. Drive traffic, drive traffic to that piece of content, and you are going to siphon some percentage of the people who are there into leads for you. That's how this works, okay? Now, it, it looks simple here, but there's really a lot of moving parts to get this to work, okay? So because of that, because it was so time consuming, I took a risk, we took a risk and decided to build the tools that didn't exist to make this easier. And that's when we created DaVinci, as I mentioned to you. Let me show you, let me show you basically what we did, how that works. So the first thing that we decided to put into the software, the, the intelligence that we decided to put in is, is a tool that would allow us to kind of define who is our tribe, who's that target market. That's the step one. The system actually asks us, who are you trying to go after? Step two, it helps us in that hijacking. Or I saw somebody in LinkedIn say, how about the word adopt? Adopt some content or hijack some content that's already working. Then third, it helps us drive traffic through the optimal channel to that piece of content and then siphon the engagement. And the cool thing is, is that now anybody really on the MindFire team and, and some of our customers who are using this, anybody can do this now without any special technical skills or marketing skills because it's all, McKenzie, as you say, it's baked in to the software, okay? So let me show you that. Is everyone ready? Let's go ahead. Let me get inside of DaVinci here. All right, so you should be able to see it on the screen right now. Let me know if you can see my mouse moving around. Can everyone see that? Let me know there in the chat. And so what I want to do now is I want to walk you through those four steps in the strategy, okay? Here's step one, where we define the target market. So we come over here to my markets. And what I'm going to do just for um, this example here is I'm going to create a new target market. And uh, let's see, I'm going to call it direct mail target market, since I know we have um, a lot of direct mail folks here. And I'm going to tell the system 
to find content that is related to direct mail. Okay, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm telling uh, the system, go find me some content that's related to direct mail so that I can then in step two, hijack that content to be able to create engagement and siphon leads back to me, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit refresh and then let's go inside of this target market right here and as you can see, it's come back with a lot of content all related to direct mail. Can you see that here? These are articles that the system has found that have engagement. And what I often will do is I'll sort over here by the different engagement tallies. So I can see, for example, this one is uh, doing fairly well on Facebook. Um, and I've sorted uh, by Facebook here. I can also sort by total engagements. Can you see this here? So this will give you a sense for how well content is doing across the web across social okay so without having to create your own content you have an idea of a what kind of content is working you know headlines imagery thematic content etc and b now you can also use that content let me show you let's just find um, one simple example um let's see here let's use this one right here okay so when i click on that it's going to open up from our friends over at brand united this is your brain on direct mail and let's say you read through this and for your particular needs, this is a good article. OK, let's say you you have a commercial print house, you do print and mail and you want to talk to your tribe about direct mail and siphon some of that engagement. So let's pretend that's your scenario. I'm going to come back here right here and I'm going to say add a call to action to that. OK, so what we're telling the system to do is I want to add that call to action overlay on top of this content, okay, so that we can start to siphon some of that engagement over to us. And we're gonna pick this one right here. Actually, let me sh show you what that looks like first so you have an idea. Here's the preview, okay? So this is that same piece of content. We now have a unique URL for that piece of content with our call to action overlay down here. Do you see that? So in this example, I've added an overlay that I already had created that's, that's a uh, report about the future of direct mail and the reader can then download a study by clicking this button, okay? So it's pretty congruent with this content up here. So what I'm gonna do is I say, okay, let's go ahead and launch that. And that looks fine. And what the system is going to do now, part of the magic behind the system here is in step three of this process, it's going to actually create an opti-channel campaign to be able to help us drive traffic to that, okay? So that's what I'm gonna show you now. I've just shown you, first of all, how to define your target market. We made the direct mail target market. I showed you step two, which is how to hijack some content for that. And now step three, I'm gonna show you how the system actually creates a campaign, like all of the elements that you need, all the opti-channel elements that you need to drive traffic to that piece of content, okay? And the reason why you're doing that is so you can siphon engagement from that content and turn it into leads, okay? So let's come back here. And you can see the system has created two campaigns for us. One is a drive traffic. This is the kind of opti-channel campaign that's going to push people to that piece of content. And this is a capture lead campaign. This is the one that's going to siphon the engagement, okay? So first, let me show you the drive traffic. We load that up. And remember, the system has done all of this on its own already behind the scenes for us, okay? This blueprint, that's what we call this, a blueprint. It's an opti-channel blueprint that allows you to do this more quickly and easily. This blueprint is designed to drive traffic to a piece of content. And for this uh, purpose here, we're using the one that we just found a second ago, okay? But it could be anything. But in this case, I'm showing you how to use this one. Now, what's cool about this is, ch check this out. These are the different opti-channel touches that you can use to drive traffic to it. This is an email. And look at this. It's already written most of the email for us. So, of course, you need to come in here and say, um, you know, thanks for reading this. Oops, can't type today. Uh, love, who do we have here on the line? Just pick on you, Brian. <laughs> love, Brian. Okay, so you can go in and customize the email. You can hover over any of these areas. They're all editable. You can change the image. But what's really helpful here, what saves a lot of time is that the system has gone in and pulled out Things like the subject line, the pre-header, the image, the text here, so that you have like 80% of it already done. And of course, you can also do the same thing in Facebook. You can do the same thing in LinkedIn. We don't have time to go into all of that today, but the system is going to help you drive traffic. That's the name of this blueprint here, drive traffic to that piece of content. Now, as 
attentive salespeople, we need to know when certain things are happening to that content. So the system makes it very easy to say, hey, notify me when somebody's opening up an email, okay? Uh, notify me when somebody's visiting this piece of content. When somebody's actually reading it, let me know, okay? And that's what these alerts do here for you. Very helpful, folks, for siphoning the engagement from that piece of content to turn it into something actionable, okay? Now, the last thing I need to do is just schedule when I want this sequence to start and who I want it to target, okay? So if I have a list, a CSV file, or maybe somebody from my database, a list of people from my database, I can say, all right, send it to that group. We could call this our clients. And you pick it from here. This is a list of all the people you've uploaded. Set the date and time, and you're good to go. Does that make sense? Now, when people go to this URL, when, when you're driving traffic to it, let me show you something real quick here. Let me pull it up. Here it is, right? People are going to read this content. They're going to like it. And when they get to the bottom, they're going to see your call to action overlay, and they're going to say, huh, that's interesting. I want to find out more about that. So they click on that button. And what it does is now it takes them to a landing page that you're using to siphon engagement from that piece of content. Does that make sense? Give me an X in the chat if you understand that. We're, we're, we've come from this content here. You have your overlay. You now have something that's thematically related to that content, driving them to a landing page where in this example, they can download an ebook. I'm just gonna do that real quick here for you just so you see what, what happens here. And now it's gonna, it says, thank you for uh, sending in your contact information. Check your email to get the ebook. Now the system, I'm gonna show you, has done all of this for me behind the scenes. Let me show you uh, where that is. Sure, let's leave. Here's that campaign right here. It's called a capture lead. This is the one that in step four is going to siphon the engagement, okay? So step one, we define the target market. Step two, I showed you how to hijack some content. Step three, I showed you how you're driving traffic to that content. And now step four, you're going to siphon engagement by using a landing page here that's set up to capture information from the interested viewer, okay? So here's the landing page we just saw. I can come in here, let's just remove that. Let's say we wanna say, um, welcome to your ebook. I don't know, that's a silly example, right? But I'm just giving you an idea of how you edit the content here. And similar to what we did in the email, we can add more text here. Just hover over those areas and start typing. We can change out the form over here. There's a variety of forms that we can pick from, all with the intent of making it very simple to siphon engagement from the reader, okay? Now that's the welcome page. Here's the thank you page. Um, remember we saw this a second ago, so we can change all of this stuff here. Let's add another exclamation mark. We're super happy today. <laughs> and that's basically it there, okay? So I'm breezing through the setup of the landing page. That's a very, very important part of the process because what you're doing is you're now taking readers, turning them into people you can communicate with, and the way you can communicate with them is numerous. You can pick up the phone and call them, or the system has a built-in email sequence that they can start to get. In other words, they can be dripped on by an email sequence here. So as soon as they submit the form in that landing page, you've now siphoned that engagement, and now you're going to nurture them with an opti-channel drip sequence here. Does that make sense? And just like I showed you a second ago, um, all of this is editable. You know, now I'm going to pick a different name here. I'm going to put, who should I put? Lisa. Thank you, Lisa, for letting me use your name there. And uh, you get the idea, right? You can add any number of emails, change the subject line, change the image. All of it is 80% done for you. You just got to go in and configure the rest. Now, I didn't show you this, but you can change. I think I see somebody. Yeah, I think I see someone asking this already. Um, you can change the layout. You know, there's different templates. Um, a variety of different layouts that you can use. Um, you can even make it look, you know, handwritten, very simple. You can change who it's coming from. There's a lot of settings that allow you to customize it. Or if you like getting into the HTML and you have a, a layout that you want to use that's custom, you can also do that here through the, through the asset library. You load that asset and then you can use it there in any of your emails. Now, since the whole point of this is to be able to engage with people as they interact with the campaign, similar to what I showed you a minute ago in the drive traffic campaign here, you can get notified when people visit that landing page. Let's say we want to send it to our sales team. Of course, when a lead is created, when somebody submits that form, we need to know that. And this is where you can turn all of that on. Okay. 
So what I just showed you here in just a few minutes, and I'm, I'm flying by all of this at a very high level, I showed you the strategy around, number one, how you create a market that is going to collect content for you. This is basically a bucket of thematically related content that you know already works. And there's a lot of other options here. I don't have time to go into all of it, but that's the first thing we've done here. Second, I showed you how to hijack that content so you can start to then drive traffic to it with the campaigns that the system pretty much sets up for you in advance. And then fourthly, how you can start to siphon that engagement. In other words, take those passive anonymous viewers and turn them into people you can engage with by using this capture lead campaign here to turn those people into someone you can work with. Does that make sense? What do you guys, girls, think about that? <laughs> Is that cool or what? Hopefully you, uh, you got it. I know I went through relatively quickly. Um, let me introduce you to John Miggs. I don't know. Is John here? Is Miggs here? Check this out. So he uses this same process. And uh, what he says is, uh, if you can see right here, we just hit 100 webinar registration. So siphoning engagement. My goal was 50 and my previous best was 29 for real life presentations. This is our first campaign. We're pretty excited about this. Actually, if Migs is here, I think Migs exceeded 100. I think he's at 150 now, McKenzie, if I'm not mistaken. So People are doing this, folks. I know that you can do that. That's why I say once you learn how to do this, I am confident anyone can do this. Now, I'm keeping a, an attentive eye on the time, McKinsey. Give me one question, one question that folks had as we were going through that. What would that? What, what do you see popping up here? Mac Dizzle. Yeah, so what yeah. I... What I see is a lot of people saying, well, I'm not technical. How will I be mm. able to do this? Okay, sure. Yeah, that's, that's good, folks. Let me um, answer that a little bit more deeply when we get into the Q&A. But basically, what we tried to do in the software for ourselves, even though we are technical or I'm technical or our staff can be technical, when you're technical, it's very easy to make a mistake, to have a typo. And a typo, when you're technical, is a bug, and it means that the thing doesn't work, okay? And so when you have that typo, it makes it difficult sometimes to figure out where you've got that typo. What we did instead is we built this technology using the concept of blueprints. I'll show you more of that in a little bit, but basically it means if you can point and you can click and you can type, then you can build these campaigns. So Mac, let's remind me when we get to the end, I'll go into more depth on that, okay? Thank you for that, McKinsey. I'm just keeping an eye on the time, Sounds everyone. Good. Yeah, awesome. So what I wanna show you now um, is how you can force a social network that you're probably ignoring to send you traffic, to give you eyeballs, to give you engagement so that you never run out of people to push into this opti-channel framework that, that you've learned now, okay? So that's a big problem for many of you. If you resonate with that, give me an X, whether that's in LinkedIn, Facebook, Zoom, if you can resonate with the idea of not having enough new people coming into your ecosystem, okay? If you don't, that's a slow and painful way to die. You're dying a death by a thousand cuts. So. Let me teach you the social selling framework that you need to know in order to get around that. And it actually uses um, a very specific um, formula, okay? And so this is the flowchart I had on the screen a second ago. I, I talked to you about using your existing database and I showed you that just slightly in the demo. But what I'm talking about is you always need to have new people coming into your process, okay? Coming into your ecosystem. If you don't, like I said, you guys and girls know this, but you're not going to be around very long. You need that new blood coming in. So when we stumbled on this problem and we found that this was a roadblock for us, we started doing many of the usual things, you know, uh, investing in Google ads, paying for um, Facebook ads, expensive trade shows, you know, things like that. And what happened is that we started to notice, look, these things are really expensive. Um, is there another way to solve this problem? And it was then that we started looking into LinkedIn more deeply, which is right here on this chart here. I thought, and I am the first to, to say that I screwed up here. I thought it was just for job hunters. I thought it was for students or um, you know, people without jobs looking for a new home, uh, like, like a CV online, a, a resume online. I'm ashamed to admit that, but I didn't know. What I actually found out was much different, folks. And, and if you think any of that, if you're like me and, and you're thinking that stuff, uh, I can't tell you how wrong I was, okay? What I came to realize, what we came to realize is that LinkedIn is giving away huge exposure right now to people like me 
and people like you and many of you who are here with me in this training right now for free. And so when we discovered this, we went all in on LinkedIn, okay? Once we learned this, we were able to then start to siphon a large amount of engagement from LinkedIn. And the best part, business owners, budget holders, it's for free once you know how to do it. Here's how it works. There's four pieces to it, okay? And the result of this process, once you learn this, is that people start coming to you. They start engaging you. They start asking you for quotes. They start sending you orders. Um, they show up at your webinars like, like you folks are doing today. And so to make it happen, let me show you the four pieces that you need, okay? First of all, where most of you have gone wrong here is you don't have your personal profile on LinkedIn set up correctly. You have to recraft that profile. That's like your homepage on LinkedIn with your ideal client in mind, and you have to write it in a very specific way, okay? If you don't do that, then the rest of this doesn't matter. You got to start with that. Second, you have to publish content. That can be posts, like what you see here on the screen, or it can be engaging with other people's comments. Let me tell you more about that in a minute. But you have to post content because what happens is that you become perceived as a thought leader, which is very important. I have some data to back that up. Okay, that's the second thing you need to do. Third, you need to connect with people in your target market. For, for anybody, for you or for anyone on your sales team who's making the excuse that you don't have decision makers that you can reach out to and engage right now during this pandemic, guys and girls, that is not true. When you put this third step into place, you can establish a trust uh, connection, a trusted connection with people in your industry, customers and prospects through LinkedIn. All right. So that's the third thing you need to do is connect with the right people. And then fourthly, you have to learn how to engage. When I say engage, I mean, you have to chat with people in their comments. You have to engage in their posts. You have to do that in a certain way so that you grow valuable relationships through that platform. And then this, this is like interest. It starts to accrue and brings more and more people to you. Let me show you why I think this is so important for you. These are the results of some of my activity over the first um, six months. This is just one person, okay? I'm not going to go into all these data. This is the number I want you to see. What happened here is that LinkedIn gave me 964,734 eyeballs, okay? The market value, if we were to pay for that advertising, is $48,236.70. You get that? The value of that 964,000 views is equivalent to an ad spend of $48,000. Guys and girls, I even excluded my top post. It was a uh, meeting that I happened to have with uh, Kobe Bryant the night before um, he passed, uh, along with the other families in that unfortunate accident. That one did really well for obvious reasons. Uh, a lot of attention there. I excluded that from this. It doesn't include that, okay? This is everything else but that. I'm one person. Think about how this compounds, guys and girls. If you're running your organization, if you're running sales and marketing, if you're, if you're trying to get your company going back up again, if you get multiple people doing this on your sales team, your marketing team, your staff, your partners, this stuff compounds and it's big, okay? Here's Ira. Ira is probably the most connected person in the print industry in terms of the number of followers that he has on LinkedIn. Um, since I know a lot of you are, are here in print, he says... Actually, somebody had asked him, um, where did your sales activity come from? And he said, my social selling activity has led to 100% of my sales in both June and July. Sales managers, CEOs, presidents, owners, if your team is telling you that they cannot sell because nobody's buying during the pandemic, I give you permission to call BS on them. It's not true. Okay? Here's one example. Um, here's somebody else uh, who posted this. This was a, a couple of weeks ago. She's saying, look, I'm so excited. I'm quaking in my boots. I have a call tomorrow with the kind of potential client I've dreamed about for years, but wasn't sure I'd have a chance at. Pray for me, okay? I went and I asked her, how did you land that call? What she said, look at this. Surprisingly enough, well, now, men and women, you know you're not surprised anymore. An executive from the company reached out after I commented on his LinkedIn post. Are you getting this? Are you seeing how this works? McKinsey, I'm gonna pause real quick. I know this is, this, this is new for a lot of people. Um, actually, you know what, folks? I got something for you here. Mac, take that link, paste that into the chat. What I'm gonna do right now, folks, there's a hidden link in LinkedIn that will give you your social selling score. This is going to tell you 
where you stand right now. What I want you to do, take that link that McKinsey is going to give you, click on it, see what comes up, and then put the number back in chat, okay? If you're in Zoom, I want to see the numbers there. If you're in LinkedIn, if you're in Facebook, wherever you're listening to me or seeing us right now, click on the link that McKinsey is giving you. I see 51 just came in, 59. Keep it going, guys and girls. 73, 46. Oh, 46 has some work to do. 60, 75. Uh, 60 with a sad face. Don't be sad. 65, 66, 83, 62, 68, 37. Yeah. Keep it coming in folks over there in LinkedIn. You're, you're already there. Go over there, open up a new tab. Tell me what that number is. Mackenzie, let's do this. Let's hold the questions until we get a little bit further on here. Okay. I want to make sure we don't run out of time. What you're seeing right now, folks, is your social selling index. This is your score um, around those four key areas that I just outlined for you. Let me pull them back up, up on the screen here. If you're taking notes, you're being graded on. The algorithm is looking at you in these four areas. And what you do there is going to contribute to whether or not you actually get the results like what I've listed here and what Ira and the others are enjoying from LinkedIn. Okay, so that score is an important part of understanding where you stand right now. I see an 85, 56, 62, 63, 61, 45. I've got work to do. <laughs> yes, men and women, we all do. It's a, it's a constant game of improvement. So let me ask you this, folks. We've been here for about 63 minutes now so far in this training, okay? I got a couple questions for you. I want to know if you followed what I showed you in number one, you use this framework for yourself, for your business, and you learn how to hijack or adopt content that's already working or that you use to get your own signals about what kind of content you should use or write. Do you think it would work for you? Um, or if in secret too, like I showed you how you can build campaigns using this kind of technology so that you're out in front of your target market and you're bringing people into you. Do you think that would work for you? I want to see yes. I want to see the yeses coming in. And then what about if you do what I showed you in number three? If you're the owner, you're the manager, you're on a sales team, people have been telling you that you can't reach people right now because of the pandemic, but now because you've been here in this training, you can call them out and say that is not true. Do you think if you learned how to force um, LinkedIn to give you this free advertising that it would work for you? Tell me in the chat, guys and girls. Give me a yes. I'm looking at my friends over here in LinkedIn. Guys, I want to see you saying yes. I want to see the yeses in Zoom. Yes, it can. That's what this whole framework is about, all right? Now, I know that, let's see, like I said, we've been here a little over an hour. When we get to this point in the training, you need a little bit of a break. You, you need to clear your mind a little bit because I know I go so quickly. I know that I speak very passionately about this. Um, I try to get everything that I can into this training. Okay, hold those questions. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, get to those in just a second. But as I told you at the start, what I wanna help you do is get to this point faster, okay? You now have the complete strategy. But what we decided to do, me and, and, and the team that helps with this training, is we took a step back and said, why don't we create a way, a second step, if you will, a special package for those of you who want to get there more quickly, who want to implement this process for yourself, for your sales team, for your marketing team, for your organization, all right? And so I need your permission. I want to know, is it okay if I spend, um, let's say, the next 10 or 15 minutes right now, interject here in the middle of this training, to go through that with you so you can implement opti-channel social, social selling in your organization. Is that okay? Give me a yes if that's okay. Heck yeah, says Nicole. <laughs> awesome. Cool. I <laughs> love seeing those come in. All right, thank you, folks. Thank you for that. Here's what we've prepared, okay? You want to take notes on this. Here's what you're going to get. We, we're calling this package the opti-channel Revenue Recovery Program. How many of you, how many of us want to recover revenue right now? Give me a yes in the chat if that's the situation you're in. You need to recover revenue. You need to get your company, your sales humming again. How many of you resonate with that? Give me a yes. The first thing we're going to include here is access to the MindFire software that I showed you, our professional edition for free for the next 12 months. How many of you men and women want MindFire for free for the next 12 months? No monthly payments, nothing. How many of you want it? 
We only had a few minutes to go through uh, what you get inside of Mindfire. So there's there's quite a bit there. But let me tell you what, at a very high level, you're getting in the professional edition. Like I said, we're going to include it in this package, in this training package um, for 12 months. You get to send up to 9,000 emails a month, 3,000 people in your database, 25 campaigns that you can be running, and two people in your organization can be uh, on this and creating campaigns, okay? What I showed you in that demo just a second ago is like scratching the, what's the expression? Scratching the tip of the iceberg, is that the expression? There's really so much more, um, but you're gonna get access to all of these opti-channel blueprints. These are like um, recipes for this stuff, okay? All of the stuff that we've done and our thousands of users have uncovered or unearthed in this process, we encapsulate inside of these blueprints, okay? So all of the hard stuff has been put inside of these blueprints. And basically you walk into the system and say, I wanna drive traffic or I wanna capture some leads. I have an event that I wanna remind people to attend like a, like a session like today. I wanna build awareness for my organization. You tell the system what you wanna do and it helps you get there much more quickly. So when you have access to the professional edition, you're gonna be able to build campaigns like actually like the one that you're in today. Uh, Mackenzie asked that I put this screenshot in here because I want you to know that we eat our own dog food, okay? So if you wanna drive traffic to an event like the one that you're in today, and you wanna capture leads and sign people up for training or for a lunch and learn, anything like that, you're gonna be able to do inside of the software. And of course, as you progress in your journey, um, you're going to be able to look at stats and a dashboard to keep you, you know, on the straight and narrow path, making sure that you're getting the results that you're looking for. As those leads come in, you're going to be able to make notes inside of the CRM as well, track what you're doing. Um, so as opportunities and leads are flowing in, you're able to take notes and uh, keep everybody on the same page relative to the activity that you're bringing in. Now, what we've noticed is that when people use this software, there's another huge advantage. You're going to be able to get rid of other things that you're, you're gluing together right now. For example, your landing page software, um, email autoresponders, or email-only programs that you have, uh, any expensive marketing automation, or programmers that you're using to build campaigns like this, or designers that you might otherwise need, web people, webmasters that you might need for building all this stuff. And um, there's a lot more, right? So you don't need any of that stuff. You can basically fire your programmers, fire your designers, fire your webmasters. I'm kidding, of course. But you don't need those folks. You can put them onto something more high value because everything that you have, everything that you need is inside of the system. Does that make sense? So remember, when we first did this, we had to create this technology from the ground up to scratch our own itch. I'm still looking for my back scratcher. Can't find it here. But this was built for us. And now what we have found is it's, helping many of you. Okay. So you get to use it for free inside of this package. Now we've, we're spending about $300,000 a month in continuing to improve this software on an ongoing basis. Okay. You don't have to recreate the wheel. All of it is there for you. All of the proven, proven software is there for you. All right. Now I know what some of you are thinking, what happens when that 12 months is over, right? Are you going to charge us an arm and a leg, $5,000 a month? No, I'll show you that in a second you're not gonna be charged $5,000 a month, okay? We love you guys and girls. We're not gonna do that to you, okay? I'll show you that in a second. So here's the first thing that you're getting inside of the Revenue Recovery Program. Free 12-month access to MindFire Pro Professional Edition. Again, like I said, up to 9,000 emails, 3,000 contacts, 25 campaigns, and two users. That list price, if you go to our website, is $4,558, okay? Now, the next thing that I want to do to get you where you want to be, I'm not handing you off to anybody else in the organization for this next part of the training. It comes straight from me, okay? Remember, when we started this process, we kind of wandered through the desert like that red line I showed you at the beginning, but now we know how to get there. We've taken many people through this process, okay? We created this framework and we've created a six-week course that goes deep into the tactics of everything we've talked about today, the nuts and the bolts. Click on this, click on that, write this, write that, okay? And it's a six-week course. We call it the OptiChannel Secrets Training. And in week one, what we do is we talk about how to find engaging content, how to understand what's working and use it yourself, how to then push that content out to actually create leads. We talk about how to craft a magnetic LinkedIn profile. Remember, if you don't have your LinkedIn profile set up correctly, Guys and girls, I almost guarantee that most of you right now are leaking leads to your competitors because of a mistake you have on your profile. 
I'm serious, all right? So if you don't have it set up right, you're making a big mistake. Fourth, I'm gonna show you how to write posts on LinkedIn that actually get engagement, okay? I'm gonna show you how to write copy. Copy is very important. Those are the words that you use in your communication to actually motivate the reader to take action. And then lastly, we're gonna show you what's called an opti-channel custom audience. This is gonna blow your minds. This is a way that you can basically find your people in the channels that are best for them and appear as if you're everywhere uh, without spending more than 15 to $20 per day, okay? So um, the reason why you need to do this, 81% of buyers are more likely to engage with you if you have a strong professional brand. And that's what we're gonna help you do through this training, okay? Specifically here, when you're crafting that LinkedIn profile, you're going to be set up so that people are wanting to do business with you. 69% of sales professionals that follow this process, that learn how to engage on LinkedIn and specifically engage with at least 10 people at each of their prospective accounts, the data show that they're 69% more likely to exceed quota. So if your folks are not hitting quota, if you're not hitting quota and you're not doing these specific things, this is one of the reasons why. Also, we're gonna show you how to find leads in LinkedIn groups, 70%, um, you're 70% more likely to get an appointment or an unexpected sale. How many of us love those when you're a member of a LinkedIn group? Well, if you don't know how to do that or be in a LinkedIn group, then you're missing out on those opportunities, okay? And if you're not engaging in content on the web, using the optimal channel for your audience, and you're not doing it in the right way, you're not going to hit quota. 70% more engagement on their posts, people who hit quota than those that don't do this stuff in the right way, okay? You getting this? So in addition to the training, we're gonna give you access to a private group where you can meet and mingle and learn from others who are uh, steps ahead of you in this process. And um, here's John Miggs again. I don't know if Miggs is actually here. <laughs> He's been through this process. He's a step or two ahead of some of you. Um, this is just to illustrate how previously when he was publishing on LinkedIn, he wasn't uh, getting too much engagement, but he followed our steps and he said, look, I'm up over 700 views on that fly fishing post that has a specific meaning that you suggested that hasn't happened to me in years. Okay. Um, here's Mike. I don't know if Mike is actually here in the audience as well. Um, he's been through a training like this, posted my first article on LinkedIn. I've reestablished with about five contacts, maybe great leads for us. Okay. And here's one from Dave Buck, one of my favorites. Check this out, men and women. We started using MindFire. And this weekend, so far, probably have 20 orders come through as a result. Are you getting this? So if you're wondering, does this work for you? If I'm a printer, yes. If you're an agency, yes. If you do any kind of B2B marketing, any marketing folks here, any salesperson here, um, a leadership team, anyone who has a message, that now realizes that the old ways of interacting are obsolete, you know why now? This will work for you, okay? So when you use MindFire, you're gonna be saving all of that time, all of the energy, and getting right to what you need to do that works right now to be able to amplify your results. Okay, so again, what you're getting in the Revenue Recovery Program, free 12-month access to MindFire Professional Edition, and the cornerstone training here, the OptiChannel Secrets Training six-week workshop, the list price, folks pay this and more, 2297 for that training, okay? That's what you're getting so far, a value of 6855 Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Great software. I'm sure the training is fantastic. It is, folks. It's, it's life-changing for many. But then are you going to um, throw me in the deep end and let me swim on, on my own? Am, am I going to be on my own to try to figure this stuff out? No, <laughs> you're not. Here's what we're gonna do with you. We're gonna do your first campaign with you. Here's what I mean by that. We're including the done with you first campaign launch, meaning this is a service folks normally pay for that we're going to include that does the, the following five. First of all, we're gonna meet with you to understand your marketing and sales goals. Based on that, we're gonna help you pick the right opti-channel workflow to achieve that goal, okay? Then we're gonna help you understand all of the steps that you need to put into place to make that happen. We're gonna help you do that hold you accountable to actually doing it, review your results, revise as necessary, and help you repeat the process, okay? So normally that's a service that we charge for. We wanna ensure that you're successful. We're going to include that in this package, okay? 
Now, um, this actually happens to be one of our incredible uh, people here on the team. His name is Iram. You can see him there on the right-hand uh, side. He helps many of our customers, as does his entire team. Um, here's uh, what Michael said. Firstly, props to your boy, Iram. Iram helped me set up my first campaign, and he also communicated with our third-party website host on my behalf to make sure tracking code was set up properly. He has gone above and beyond, okay? The point I'm trying to impress upon you is that we're going to help you. We're going to hold your hand to get your first campaign up and running, okay? Here's Dave again, Dave Buck. Since we launched, we've added three new clients, one of them that manages seven courses. I just landed that one this morning. Our salesperson was so excited to head into his vacation with a great close. That makes sense. I want you to be the next testimonial that we put into one of these training sessions, folks. You can do this, okay? So again, what are you going to get in the revenue recovery program? First of all, free access to the MindFire software for 12 months, the OptiChannel Secrets training, the six-week workshop, and this done with you first campaign launch, which is normally at least $2,500. So that's private one-on-one -on -one coaching and the training to get you where you need to be as quickly as possible. Now, I have something for my print uh, agency and marketing friends. Uh, who is that? Give me an X in the chat if that's you. Are you in print? company, agency, marketing services company. All right, cool. They're coming in. I got something for you here. So on top of this value, which is so far 9,355, let me show you what else we're going to include. This is for not only my print agency and marketing friends, but anybody who needs more content, okay, to feed into their marketing engine. First of all, I want to eliminate any excuses that any of you have that say, hey, I can't do this because um, we don't have good content. We don't have marketing people. We don't know how to write or we don't have extra staff to be able to do that, okay? Let me tell you what I'm going to provide. We're, we're including the content pack, which gives you five quick starts and my markets unlimited. Probably doesn't make any sense yet. Let me explain to you what I mean. First of all, you remember this campaign that I showed you? Mac, you told me this one cost us about $25,000 to put together, okay? Which I, I believe, I'm sure it was at least that. What we're going to do is we're going to include everything from that campaign. So all of the emails, the landing page, the ebook itself, the thank you nurture sequence, all of the opti-channel elements in a what we call a quick start, which is basically a campaign that's 80% ready to go. You just go in and change, like you see the logo here, your picture here for your company, your company name, all of that stuff. You go and you change that last bit of it to make it specific to your organization. So for my print friends, for my marketing agency friends, if you sell direct mail, uh, for my print and mailers, anybody who's involved in that part of the market, you get this campaign for free inside of this package, okay? The second campaign, same idea here, is this study that we did with USPS. It's called Still Relevant, a look at how millennials respond to direct mail. So if you're a, a, a provider of equipment, if you are a print company, if you do mail, if you have any interest in ensuring that the market, B2B or B2C, still does more direct mail, here is a campaign that's going to help you educate your audience to that end, okay? 80% of it is done, includes the ebook, all the emails, the landing pages, the nurture sequence, everything you need is 80% ready to go, okay? So that's the second one we're including. Specifically for my print friends, we want to help you recover revenue as rapidly as possible and we're including what we call print sample campaigns. Basically, these are campaigns that you can use to get in front of your customers and prospects and provide them new insights into services and products that you can provide them to get them to request a sample of that. A lot of you are doing new um, protective gear, you know, uh, different printed things that are helpful to restaurants and organizations that need to talk about social distancing and stuff. So these campaigns are going to help you get that message out there even more quickly. I also asked my team, hey, let's put in some templates for all of the major holidays, okay? I didn't even list this a second ago, but all of the major holidays, let's give you some templates that you can use to be able to nurture and engage your audience. It's one of the easiest times to be able to get out in front of our audience. So that's the first part. That's the, the content pack. That's what I'm talking about there. My Markets Unlimited, if you remember, I showed you this in the demo. Give me a yes in the chat if you remember this. Zoom, LinkedIn, you remember how I showed you the My Market section? You don't have to pay for BuzzSumo. You don't have to pay for Snipply. Um, that's $2,000, $4,000. That's about $6,000 of software right there. You don't have to pay for it. It's all built in here. And we're going to give you unlimited access to it. Okay? So that means you're going to be able to find content, get these articles, add the call to action overlay, start to use that um, in a way that's going to help you not only learn what's working for other people, but also 
leverage, hijack, adopt that content for yourself, okay? The reason why it's so important to do this, 92% of B2B buyers engage with you as a sales professional if you're known as an industry thought leader. How do you do that? You can't just say, hey, I'm a thought leader. That doesn't work, as McKinsey always says in training, right? You have to actually put the content out there. And what this does is help you get there much more quickly, all right? Now, here's Sherry. Um, Sherry says a lot here about this whole process, so I'm just going to touch on a few points. Um, she actually went through that six-week training course. Um, she says, I was not even sure if I would do the training because an hour a week right now is not always something I have. I know a lot of you are thinking you're too busy right now. Uh, but the more I was in David and Mindfire Circle and seeing the way he generally wants to give back and help, I felt that if I walked away with one thing each week, that would be worth the hour. Now, what she says down here, you can see all of some wonderful things that she says about our training. You can go back and, and read that. Um, here's what I want you to see. When she says David, she means Mindfire, okay? I, I so much appreciate that she says my name, but this is a team of people here. Mindfire, David, is a tremendous partner who, even before I was a client, went out of his way to help me and continues to go above and beyond. The point I want you to see there, folks, is that when you implement this process, just like we have, I'm not giving you some theoretical sounds good theory. This is what we live and breathe every day. This is what our students leave and live and breathe every day. When you give value, remember in the model, even before your clients are clients, that's where you're going to win. Okay. So that's, that's what Sherry says. I encourage you to read the rest of it. If you want, we'll send this to you later. All right. So again, what are you getting in the revenue recovery program? First of all, free access to the software for 12 months, the Opti Channel secrets training, the six week program that Sherry just discussed that she just shared with you. The done with you first campaign launch, right? Where we're going to hold your hand to launch that first campaign and the content pack, those five quits, quick starts and my markets unlimited access. That's normally 2,664 uh, list price. So all five end to end campaigns and unlimited access to the my markets add on bringing the total value of the package so far to $12,019. Okay. Now I want to share one more thing with you here. One more free thing that we're including inside this package. I know many of you here are in commercial print when I did that, um, that poll. I have witnessed companies that have been around for generations, some of them having been around longer than I've been alive, okay, that have had to close their doors, that have had to lay off their employees, that have had to take food off the table of families that they serve because they haven't been able to weather the storm, all right? At Mindfire, it's around 81% of our revenue comes from monthly subscription contracts, revenue that's been subscribed to by our customers, okay? And so we can have zero sales in any given month and still run our organization profitably, okay? We've had much less of an interruption than many of those in the print community have. And I'm speaking to my print friends right now, but this is true for many of you as well. Guys, why am I sharing this? The reason I'm sharing this is because there are some printers some agencies, some of you listening right now, who if you take what I've shown you and you learn to do it yourself for your organization, you can sell this to your customers. And the thing that's good about that is that even though COVID has unleashed havoc everywhere, I believe and I see many of you able to take this as a service and sell six month, nine month, 12 month multi-year contracts where you're providing this as a service to your customers, okay? And so we've made it a goal for those of you for whom this resonates to help you be able to, in, in this unpredictable world that we live in, gain some predictability in your revenue by offering this as a service, okay? So that's why we're including what we call the partner program fast launch. Here's what's included in that. First, we're gonna give you a demo site, okay? So for those of you for whom this applies, you walk into a customer, you walk into a prospect, actually you can't walk in anymore, you Zoom it, let's say, right? And they wanna know what's this all about? Well, instead of you having to go out and build your own demo site, we're gonna give you one, okay? And it demonstrates for your customer, we'll brand it, it'll be branded with you, how OptiChannel works in email, direct mail, I saw that question come in, um, voice, SMS, and, and some other channels, okay? So it's gonna be a demo site that lets you do this stuff in a much more effective way. Second, you're going to get nine free sub accounts. What that means is you can have nine customers that you can offer this to free. I know you're thinking this sounds too good to be true. It's because we want to help, okay? When you can offer this as a service to your customers, you're creating effectively 
um, an annuity that's going to be paying you over time. Just like our friends over at Summit Direct Mail, I don't know if you saw this case study, they've used this technology, they've used what we're talking about to grow to 36 million in revenue. Even right now in the pandemic, they're doing better than they did last year, all right? Now here's a smaller organization, Bob McKay, actually McKenzie works with him. Um, you can see what he says, he feels armed and dangerous with this new technology. And he says, I'm amazed that more clients, more clients of his on all levels are not using this more, probably because a lot of old school mentality is still out there. Men and women, because you've been in this training, you know how much opportunity there is. This is what you can now offer to your customers. This um, case study here, this is just an amazing, amazing thing. This is an organization, Bill Hodges, if you don't know him, one of my favorite case studies here. Um, I'm just going to summarize this one line down here. Um, what you're offering is far above that of a software company. I don't know if Bill is here with us right now. When this is over, and he's referring to the pandemic, this whole period that we're in, I think I might be indebted to you. He's talking about Mindfire for the survival of my 135 year old company. When I read this, guys and girls, I started crying. This is, this is an emotional thing. This is a big deal for many, many people. So we're including that inside of this package, inside of the revenue recovery program, 12 month access to MindFire, the six week training workshop, the done with you campaign launch, the content pack, the five quick starts and my markets unlimited and the partner program fast launch to be able to take this and offer a demo to your clients and nine free sub accounts. I mean, you can run this for nine clients included within this package. They're all going to get their own individual access to the software. Does that make sense? The total value of this is 15,269. Now I see people saying, okay, how much is this going to be? I'm getting there. Okay. And what I want you to remember is if all this did was finally give you a way just for your organization to be able to reach people and create leads, get the leads that you want positioned to a close, would it be worth it? It would. And if all it did was finally give you a way to create these modern marketing campaigns, this opti channel without needing technical people, fancy marketing staff, big ad budgets, would it be worth it? Think about that. And then what if it gave you a way to finally learn how to get it in front of fresh new eyeballs, bring in new people? Would that be worth it to you? So when we put this together, we had two choices. We were thinking, let's go really cheap and get it out to as many of you as possible, or let's go a little bit more, slightly higher investment, but allow us to give you the support and the handholding and the training that you need. And so we went with option two. I'm gonna show you just in a second what it is to get started today. I want you to think though, as you're, as you're pondering this, what would growing your leads and sales, despite the economic situation that we're in right now, be worth to you? What's that number? How much would you be willing to pay to have that fully implemented. People pay us $10,000, $20,000, $30,000, $50,000 a month to get this kind of result because they see it and they understand it's an investment, okay? So I'm not asking you for 15,269 today, 2,997, okay? Because you're still live with me here, we're offering this to you now. Mac, McKenzie, please put that into the chat. If you're ready to get started, men and women, and join the family, join this movement, and start to change your situation, go to bit.ly forward slash yes da Vinci. McKinsey's gonna put that in the chat. You can go sign up and in about a minute or two, um, you'll be ready to go and you'll have access to everything that I just showed you. And you'll be on your way to the next step in this training process, which is the orientation this coming Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, if I recall, all right? If you already have a trial account, by the way, just go tell my team, whether you're in Zoom and LinkedIn, Facebook, wherever you are, just say, hey, I'm ready to get started. If you already signed up for a free trial and my team will take care of you, okay? And uh, right now, I give you permission to turn me down. <laughs> I know I've been yelling in your ear past 80, 90 minutes. Open up a web browser, open up a new web browser and type in that URL, bit.ly forward slash yes da Vinci, Kushal and McKinsey and everybody is putting that in the chat for you. Whatever you need to do, go there. This is likely the last time we're going to ever offer this because as you can see, there's just a significant amount of value into here. So I don't think we're going to be able to do this again, but because of the situation we're in, this is what we're offering. When you go to that URL bit.ly forward slash yes, da Vinci, this is what you're going to see. Um, you have the option of paying the 2997 now, or if you want to make payments, you can do 997 now and the nine payments of 297 
in 90 days. Okay, so it's a little bit more, uh, 3670 versus 2997. You get to choose how you want to do it. You put in your name, your company, choose your uh, email and password, enter in your uh, credit card information, and you will be good to go at that point, all right? So whatever's better for you, the 2997 or the 3670, um, go ahead and turn me down. Go over uh, to the web, bit.ly forward slash yes da Vinci and do that now. Um, you know what? One thing I forgot to mention, if you go to our uh, our website, our regular pricing, and our, our pricing is, is um, what you see here on the screen, just for the software, guys and girls, just for the software, the professional edition with the features that I've given you, you're looking at 3,748 just for the software. The total price of this package is 2,997, okay? So you can see there's a significant significant savings in in this package when you invest today. If you were to hire a professional or a consultant to help you with this, even if one existed to be able to help you do this stuff, it might easily cost you $30,000, three, four months of work to get to this point, okay? But because you're learning how to do this yourself and we're giving you the tools and the training and resources to make it happen, you're only paying 2,997. Now at this point, guys and girls, you have two options here, okay? Number one, is do nothing. Put your head in the sand. Don't take this leap of faith with us, which by the way, I'm going to make 100% risk-free if we don't deliver on our key things. I'm going to show you that in a second. Okay. If you do that, nothing's going to change for you. All right. If you take no action now, come tomorrow, come Monday, your life is going to be the same. Your business is going to be the same. Or make this investment today, compare it to all of the value that we're providing and say, let's, let's take a shot. Let's do this, okay? Now, the reason why we say we make this 100% risk-free is because we have a philosophy here. We don't want your money if we can't earn yours, okay? So what that means is we're giving you a 30-day guarantee when you sign up today, and if we fail to deliver, if I'm here blowing smoke and we don't have software, we don't have training, we don't have any of the stuff that I talked about, you know that's not true, first of all. But let's just imagine that we pull a fast one on you. If we don't provide technology, if we don't give you the orientation, if we don't take you through the six-week training course, if we don't give you that one-on-one -on -one done with you campaign launch, if we don't reply to your support cases in three business hours, that means you have a question, you email support, we reply in three hours. If we don't do that stuff for you, you can apply for your money back, okay? You need to carry your end of the bargain. You need to go through orientation. You need to attend the training. You got to ask for help when you need it. You got to reply to our coaching emails and our calls, and you have to launch at least one campaign. If all of these things are true, and yet you're still like, Mindfire, you guys suck, then you can apply for your money back, all right? So the real question for you is, is it worth gambling just a few minutes, run down the hall, actually you can't run down the hall, get the credit card, whatever it is that you need, check this out, bit.ly forward slash yes to Vinci to get started. And if it only does half of what I've claimed today, right? If it only gets you half of those results that you've seen from all of the people that have been on the screen, it will pay for it as soon it's itself as soon as your first campaign is live. Think about this. We're including, for those of you who are print service providers, we're including nine sub-accounts, nine customers. You charge them a $1,500, a $2,000 setup, you're at $18,000. Right there, you've made your money back multiple times, all right? I see people asking me again, tell me what's in the program. So inside the Revenue Recovery Program, let me show you one more time. Free 12-month access to MindFire Professional Edition the six-week training course, the done with you first campaign launch, the content pack, that's the five quick starts and the My Markets Unlimited, the partner program fast launch. This is where, as I mentioned to some of you, you're going to be able to now start to offer this to your customers. Total value of the package is 15,269. All right, Mackenzie, I see you're asking me a bunch of questions here. Hold that really quick, folks. I'm going to get there in just a second. I promised you we would do Q&A. We're getting there. One more thing. And you think, uh, Dave, do you have knives to sell me or something? No, guys and girls, I'm not selling you knives. I'm trying to give you some predictability. I'm trying to help you. Uh, I'm not selling you software. I'm not selling you knives. I'm trying to offer you peace of mind here, okay? Let me tell you what I've got for you. For the first 10 of you who take action right now, so if, you have, if you've thought that this is something that's in line for you and your organization, you're going to want to open up that web browser right now. I want to reward the action takers, okay? For the first 10 of you who come aboard right now, who either tell my team in the chat, yes, I'm ready to get going, or you go to bit.ly forward slash yes da Vinci, 
Remember how I told you you could have unlimited emails? I'm sorry, you were limited to the number of contacts and emails. I'm going to give you unlimited emails for the first six months. I'm going to give you unlimited contacts for the first six months. So you're not going to be limited by emails. You're not going to be limited by contacts. You remember how I told you you had 25 campaigns that you could run? I'm going to give you unlimited campaigns for the first six months. And if you remember, I told you you could have up to two users in your system. I'm going to give you access to unlimited users. So unlimited emails, unlimited contacts, unlimited campaigns, unlimited users. If you went to you know, a MailChimp or a Pardot or a HubSpot or an Eloqua and you said, hey, folks, give me unlimited access, they'd laugh you out the door. But I want to help you recover revenue. And this is only something we can do for the first 10. So go to bit.ly forward slash yes to Vinci. Again, this is what you're going to see. 2,997, open up Chrome, Firefox, Safari, whatever it is that you use. 2,997, or if you want the payment option, you're doing 997 now. And then nine payments of 2,000, I'm sorry, of $297. Do whichever is best for you, okay? So there we go, folks. Again, the first 10, this is only for the first 10. Unlimited emails, send 10,000, send 100,000, send a million. Unlimited contacts, unlimited campaigns, unlimited users. Guys and girls, if you can't use this to turn your operation around, there's something more fundamentally wrong than just your marketing and your sales process, okay? You need to take advantage of this now. If any of what I've said has resonated with you, take charge of your destiny, all right? So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take a drink of water. My brow is sweating. And I'm going to ask Mackenzie... Mackenzie, I know you've got a bunch of questions coming in here. Are you able to throw those questions at me or should I try to handle them myself here? Let me take a drink while you answer that. Hey, Dave. Um, so I'm chatting fiercely, <laughs> um, yeah. but there are a lot of great questions. So I just sent you a few of them. If I could um, funnel them to you, I think that'd be best just so I can make sure and answer everyone's question. Um, as okay. I'm chatting. So you're going to funnel them to me over in SMS, correct? Correct. Okay, perfect. So Mackenzie's going to stay chatting behind the scenes. Um, go to bit.ly forward slash yes to Vinci to um, get started now or call that number 657-549-0496 and ask any of your final questions. Uh, I believe Suzanne and uh, others on the team are the ones who are going to answer that when you call. If you have any questions, you want to talk to somebody, call that number, chat with Mackenzie either in Zoom or if you're hearing us on LinkedIn or Facebook or YouTube, wherever you are. Let us know what questions you have. So um, the first question I see here from McKenzie says, what happens in year two? Great question. So uh, guys and girls in year two, um, what's going to happen is you can log into your software at any time and pick the level of service that you want. $97 a month, $297, $597, et cetera. You don't have to worry about that now. Make that decision in a year based on where you're at at that time. You can downgrade, you can upgrade, or you can stay the same at the same spot. All right. Um, so that was the first question. Um, what the second question is, what if a lot of people in my region have this program? Will all our content look the same? No. So there's a variety of templates. You have the ability to use any of those templates point and click without having to know any HTML skills. And that will make those, uh, emails and landing pages, all the opti channel touches look different. In addition, I don't know who asked this, but I didn't have time to show you this. You have a drag and drop editor for creating your emails and landing pages. So if you want to create your own look, you can do that in a drag and drop editor. And then thirdly, if you have somebody who knows HTML, um, or you maybe have a contractor or somebody you found on Fiverr who made, made you some HTML for an email or a landing page, you can take that HTML and dump it right into the system and use that, okay? So no, you don't have to worry about it looking um, the same. Question here is, I, I don't want to use other people's content. Do I need to use other people's content? No, use the process that I've shown you to understand what's working. That's what we train you to do in that six-week course, okay? And then model your content after what's resonating. I don't know if Miggs is here, John Miggs. Um, Mackenzie, let me know if you can. But I gave, we gave him in the training. Okay, he's not. All right. We gave him in the training a headline that he could use that we knew already worked. And he went from, as you saw in that example maybe a few dozen, maybe a dozen or two signups for his webinars to over 150, just because he understood 
what was already working with that headline, all right? That's the power of what we've shown you. So no, you don't have to use the content that the system provides you, but certainly leverage it. All right, um, let me see the next question here. I'm not technical, do I need to be? No, you don't need to be technical. As I mentioned, you can use the templates. You, it's like a paint by color system. Um, kind of like my kids do. Um, so you, as long as you stay inside the guardrails, which is, that's why the blueprint system is there for, you don't need to be technical. Um, what is included? Can you go through that one once more? Yes. So if you look up here on the upper left-hand corner of the screen, you're getting free 12-month access to MindFire Professional Edition. You get the OptiChannel Secrets Training six-week workshop. That's, that's really the cornerstone of everything that we're training you on here. Um, that is the culmination of thousands of hours of work, thousands of students, just hundreds and hundreds of hours of preparation that culminates in this training experience that you go through um, with a community of people. Many of them are, are here with you today, all right? So that's six-week courses included. Um, like I mentioned, uh, folks are paying us tens of thousands of dollars to run this training, okay? That's not hyperbole. That's not blowing smoke. It happens every day, and uh, we're including it here because that's part of the revenue recovery that we want to make, uh, the investment we want to make in you. So that's the second thing. Third is the done with you first campaign launch, holding your hand to get you launched, all right? That content pack with the five quick starts and the unlimited access to my markets and the partner program fast launch. That includes the demo site, what we call the experience it portal, where you basically take your customers there and you fill in the information for them like email, phone number, and a few other things. And then they sit back and they experience everything that we just talked about. They get a phone message, they get a tech, personalized text message, personalized email, a whole bunch of cool stuff happens from that. And inevitably what happens is the scales fall off their eyes. They're like, oh my gosh, I see the light now. I need to work with you. And so that's what the experience it for those of you who are an agency or a print service provider, anybody who's providing marketing services to their customer, that's what this is gonna give you access to. And you're going to have the ability to, to create nine customers, nine customers beneath you as part of that partner program fast launch. All right. Um, let's see, McKinsey, uh, come on, give me some more questions over there. I know you got a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff coming in here. So <laughs> please try to help me out here. Let me know what other questions. Okay. Here's one. Um, I'm, I'm not a marketer. Is that a problem? No, that's what this training course is going to help you do. Learn the most essential, uh, kind of like sift through the, the chaff, is that the expression? So that you're focused on the wheat, the things that you need to know, all right? Um, I see McKenzie typing. Um, lots of people need to get approval. Um, so yes, okay, so if you need to get approval, make sure my team knows. Also, make sure that uh, you understand that we have the money back guarantee that I mentioned. So get signed up now. You can switch it to your company credit card later if you need to. Remember, if we don't deliver the software, the training, the, the hand-holding, all of the stuff that's listed here, there's no risk to you. You can apply for your money back there, okay? We're not here to bait and switch you, all right? So we're trying to minimize that risk. I understand if you need approval, but, but try to do whatever you can to get started today. This 2,997, we've got another 13 or 14 minutes that I'm going to stay on the line now and uh, make sure that we get your questions answered. I see one here that says, I don't have a big LinkedIn network like you, so will, so will this work for me? Great question. Um, Brian Galad, who I had on the screen uh, during the earlier part of today's training, when he started monetizing LinkedIn, he had 808 followers. So for whoever's asking that, where relative to 800 are you? Are you under that or over that? It is never too early to start monetizing, siphoning this kind of activity from LinkedIn, okay? So even if you don't have a big network, that's not a problem. One of the things that McKinsey always talks about when we're doing this uh, live in front of folks is that, um, look, it's like, it's like yoga. She's very passionate about yoga, as you may know. And people would show up to her yoga studio when she would coach folks in yoga and say, look, I'm not limber enough. Um, I can't do yoga because I'm not pliable enough. Okay, I'm probably not using the right words to you yoga folks, but please forgive me, you'll get the idea. And she's like, well, of course not. That's why you're signing up to learn yoga, right? So that you can become flexible, pliable, if that's the right word. So if you're saying, look, I have a small network, I have 100, I have 500, I have 5,000. This isn't, I don't have enough to get going. Of course you don't. 
that's why you need to start with this program because the second you start, you're going to learn how to untap the potential inside of your network and grow it. Okay. Um, question here. Will we learn how to set up our LinkedIn profile correctly as well? Yes. We will show you how to do that. Folks charge you $1,000, $2,000, $5,000 just on that piece alone, men and women. So that's included here. You absolutely will. Um, let's see. LinkedIn is really big. How do I learn all of it? Yeah, that's part of what we're covering here in the six-week course. So don't worry about that. We'll, we'll help you understand um, how to navigate the essential parts of LinkedIn. Again, this is all about helping you understand the things that you should be spending your time on so that you don't waste your time on the stuff that's not providing value. When does the training start? Great question. So next week, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we have your orientation. So that's the, the next step coming out of this is we're going to have orientation to get you the roadmap for what's going to happen from here. Okay, that's the, that's the next step. Then within a few days after that, the first training step session starts. Okay, so you have orientation next week. You're going to get started next week. You have to sign up today to get in the orientation. Sign up today, get in the orientation for next week, and then the training starts the week after that. All right, let me know if I answered that question. Um, Alicia is saying, did you speak to how many hours of orientation? Um, Mindfire team, send me that in the chat. I think orientation it runs about 30 to 45 minutes, right? That part of the process is not that long. Let me know if I got that right. Um, cool, all right. So I know for some of you that are here, breaking, you know, I can tell from the questions that some of you have have old habits, you know, that you're going to need to break. Some of, some of this is learning new stuff, right? The stuff is new and I get it. Um, the thing is, is that if I leave this training right now and, and, and go on with my day, um, I can be successful. We're already doing this. We're already doing social selling. We know it works for us. It's not about me or Mindfire right now. This is about you. If you leave now, You've probably learned some very good things, stuff you didn't know. But my guess is that by tomorrow morning, by Monday, you're going to be slipping back into all of your old patterns, your old routines, sending the same email, sending the same phone calls, experimenting a little bit with LinkedIn, doing what you think is going to work, right? You, do you know what I mean? You're going to do what you've always done. That's what most people do. But what we want to help you do is break those habits. And that's what we're going to do by going through this training, taking you through this process. If you want real and lasting change, you need repeated exposure to the right system. And that's what we're going to be showing you when you invest. Okay. Does that make sense? Give me a yes, whether you're in Facebook or LinkedIn or in the chat, if what I just described to you is making sense. Uh, Mackenzie, let me know if you have any other questions there. Um, there's just so many coming in here. I'm trying to get. Um, everything that I can. So uh, Kushal over on LinkedIn, give me a little bit of an update. I can see that I think over here. Uh, Mackenzie, I'm looking at your um, your text over here. Question that says, can we take the Opti channel campaigns and go cross channel to direct mail campaigns as well? Love this question. Yeah. Yes. Direct mail is an optimal channel. Opti channel comes from optimal channel that we we barely scratched the surface of today, folks. You absolutely can. The system will actually create what's called a Perl, a personalized URL. If you don't know what that is, let me know in the chat. Say, what's a Perl? And I'll let you know, okay? Um, but yes, direct mail can definitely be part. Um, text, uh, SMS is also a component. So SMS, text messaging is something that a large part of the population uh, find as their optimal channel, okay? In fact, that's probably for me right up there in my top three channels. I don't know if the same is true for you, but text is a channel that you need to be using. Um, also text in with direct mail. Can you clarify what you mean there, McKinsey? Uh, I want to make sure I'm getting the question right. So folks, I've shown you, um, how this whole strategy works, right? We got about seven minutes left here. I've shown you how it all fits together. What I want to know from you is what was your biggest value bomb? As we call it sometimes, what was the biggest value takeaway? Go to LinkedIn, go to Facebook, go to zoom, drop that number one thing that unlocked for you. Okay. And then uh, I want to I want to start seeing those things. I love seeing what the uh, what it is that you you men and women took away from this. Um, let's see. You said pearls on direct mail. I'm saying text also works. Yes, you can you can text a response from direct mail. Um, pearls for those of you who are wondering, um, it stands for personalized URL. So when you're sending out postcards or direct mail, you can include a URL that is trackable to the recipient. 
meaning the person who gets that piece, they can respond to that piece by going to a URL that has their name in it. So for, for me, it would be davidrosendahl.mortgagecompany.com, whoever's sending me the mortgage offer of the day, right? And the moment I do that, the mortgage company knows that I'm interacting with that direct mail piece, okay? So this is another aspect of the OptiChannel framework. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. Let's see. How does... How do sub accounts work? So sub accounts are the containers for each of your customers. It's a full uh, Mindfire account for each of your customers. Um, let's see. Somebody saying my biggest learning was non-industry information leads to engagement in business. Yes. David saying the ability to adopt content. There we go. Adopt. Cool. And the power of that demonstrated you by you was impactful to me during the presentation. My man, Fred. Wow. I didn't know Fred was here. I must have missed that. Fred, how are you feeling? Are you back to 100%? I hope you are. Um, McKinsey, why are you so excited about Fred? What did Fred do? Let me know. Now, Andrew is saying the passion to help us succeed. Andrew, thank you for saying that. Um, that means a lot to me and the team here. As I said, I, there are a lot of examples that we use today that had my name in them or where I personalized something to me. I want you to know, men and women, that this is so much more than me. First of all, it's about you. But second, there is a team of people the entire mind, for, mind fire organization that is arranged and focused to put you at the center of what we do. That's why you're feeling that, Andrew. Uh, Joe is saying, I have to drop and prep for my next call. Good stuff. Thanks to you and Dave. Awesome. Good to see you, Joe. Uh, Craig is saying the mind fire team is awesome. Thank you, Craig. Uh, Matthew is saying, thank you, David and the team for a great presentation today. You will hear more from me. Awesome. Matthew is one of our movers and shakers in print. If you folks don't know Matthew Parker, Look him up on LinkedIn. Uh, great guy to know and to follow. Uh, David is saying, Pearl Conversations put me to sleep. If you need some feedback on that, there you go. Uh, David, why does Pearl put you to sleep? Pearl is doing some amazing things for some organizations. So let, let us know specifically. That's a, good, that's a good thing to know. Chris is saying, I need to discuss with my team. Chris, uh, we got about four minutes here. If you need more time for whatever reason, you got to let us know now. Uh, we're going to break here in about four minutes. Mackenzie, yeah, put the, put the link back in there, bit.ly forward slash yes, Da Vinci. Uh, Matthew is saying, wow, thank you for the shout out. Yeah, no problem. Um, go look for Matthew Parker. Matthew uh, hails from across the pond uh, for those of us who are here in the United States, but a great resource, good friend. Uh, David saying, I know it's amazing. I think the energy of creating the campaigns around that are daunting. Ah, David, I'm glad you told me that. When you create pearls inside of, uh, inside of the system here, have you, have you used Mindfire before or some other system? David, forgive me. Sometimes I get fuzzy with names. Um, by the way, great name. Have you used Mindfire before? Are you saying that for a specific reason or maybe you used another technology? Because when you do it inside of Mindfire, I don't know, team, what? Hold me accountable here. The basic construct is 10 or 15 minutes to set up, okay? And, and we're happy to put our uh, money where our mouth is. Is that the right expression? Um, let's see. What do we got here? Um, ongoing revenue is everything. That's the power of the sub accounts. Yes, you're correct. Whoever said that. Um, let's see. What other questions do you have here, folks? Uh, let's see. David says, had it presented many times, but didn't execute on it. Okay, David, uh, if for whatever reason you have decided not to come aboard today, which I understand happens for some, if you haven't come aboard today and you want to see how that's done, let us know and we'll show you. We'll put our money where our mouth is in terms of how you can do that for yourself or for your company or your customers and see if, if it appears to be easier for you. Okay. Uh, Matthew saying, David, I'm interested, but at 7 p.m. here in family time, I have a whole host of questions. So we'll be in touch. If I miss the offer, so be it. I will pay you $100,000. Oh, wow. Cool. <laughs> have a great rest of the day. <laughs> Matthew, you're awesome, man. Uh, Alicia really want to do it. Need some more time. Okay. Alicia, you, you take your time. Uh, just know that this is, this is, uh, something that we, we have a group of people that go through, right? So everybody is starting at the same time. Everybody goes through this, um, kind of in a cohort, right? So please let us know how much time you need. If there's something we can do to still, um, accommodate that we would love to. All right. Um, let's see. Matthew is saying, LOL. Yeah, Matthew, that was a joke for you, man. Um, how does SMS interaction work with the system? Gosh, there's so much there, folks. Um, how many of you who are still here have restaurants as a client, retail locations as a client, places that um, take food orders and such like that? Uh, drop the word food in any of your chats if that's 
Oh, David says heavily work with restaurants. Okay. So there is a, there is a, um, a blueprint and a quick start here that enables you to offer online ordering for your customers. So let's say you're printing menus or signage or helping them with recovering revenue during this time. And for whatever reason, they're not able to take online orders or curbside orderings. That's built in. That functionality is built into the system, okay? And so as a part of that, um, you can use all sorts of channels, voice channels, text channels. Um, we, can, we can show you more of that, but that's something that um, this system can power as well. We didn't even have time to talk about that today. But OptiChannel for restaurants, for organizations that are trying to recover their own revenue by offering online electronic ordering, you now have the capacity to set that up for them if you have customers like that, okay? Um, can it be custom branded? David, yes, it can be custom branded. Absolutely. Um, I assume you you're talking about the restaurant ordering solution. Yes. Um, question from Emmanuel. How do you develop messages for follow-up, meaning nurture? So Emmanuel, um, when you're when you're... Uh, in the training here, one of the things that we're going to show you over here in this training is how to do that. In other words, how to actually um, create messages uh, through email and other channels um, that are actually going to drive engagements. There's some very specific ways to do that. In fact, many of you actually engaged with me, with us, through the system that we teach. Okay. So as you signed up for today's class, uh, I can't tell you how many emails we've received. Actually, we've got three people that are working on that email inbox to clear it out, to help me answer all of your questions and your comments. Okay, that's how much engagement we are able to drive using what we will train you. Okay, so there's a very specific way to do it and you'll learn that in the training. Um, oh, there's the time. Mackenzie, you know what? David's saying, can I fire my IT guy? David, I gave you permission right here, right now. Uh, to consider that. Okay. I don't want to get in trouble with your IT guy. You know how those IT people are. Guys, do you want me to stick around and answer more questions? That was officially the end of our time, but do you want me to answer more questions? If you have more questions, I will stick around. Um, Mackenzie, give me some insight here. Um, do we have more questions? I'll take them on the line. Danielle, I see you're here. Um, she's saying, I need to collaborate with my team, see how this will work with them. We've already partnered with you. Yes, Danielle, you're a great partner. I want to discuss with my husband about a personal investment. Okay. We promise to be aligned when making decisions on spending. Uh, Danielle, tell your husband that I gave you the okay. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to get in the way of that. <laughs> Love you too. Um, let's see. David is saying, I'll be in touch once I have the approval. I have another meeting I have to go to now. Okay, David. Uh, <clears throat> Mackenzie, our team, do we have David's contact info? I assume we do. Chris is saying, when does the training start again? Great question. You know what, team? I'm going to stick around. Um, if you have more questions, I'm not going to go anywhere. How's that? Let's put another 20, 20 minutes on the clock here. So to answer your question, Chris, when does the training start? So orientation starts, uh, you can pick Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday of next week. Okay. And then the training starts the Tuesday after that. That will be the first session. We will kick off and get going. Okay. You need to sign up though, bit.ly forward slash yes, Da Vinci that you see here. Okay. Danielle is laughing. Yes. I'm not going to get in the way of your marriage, Danielle. You do what you got to do. Uh, Lakshmi is saying, I have to go. Thanks for everything. I can't take the offer right away, but I'll talk soon. Absolutely. Um, no problem. I understand. Thank you, Lakshmi, for, for being here as well. We appreciate your time. Um, what other questions do you have, folks? If, if you haven't signed up yet, I would imagine you're, you're thinking one of maybe two or three things. Um, one is, well, <clears throat> I don't know how to do all this stuff. It sounds fancy and, and, and difficult or maybe out of my league. Don't worry. That's what this training is for. This six-week training course we're going to be handling that with you. We're going to be going through that with you step by step. Okay. Second, you might be thinking, um, I'm a little nervous about setting this all up. You know, software is going to be hard and knowing what buttons to click and all that. I, I totally get that, but I promise you, um, that's what the done with you first campaign launch is going to help you do. I promise you that we're going to help you through that process. Okay. We're going to continue to be there for you. Um, I know that social selling and the whole opti channel system is new but that's why we've included that here in this package now the third reason you might not have signed up is that maybe you think this is too expensive actually if if you think this is too expensive this is definitely not for you okay um you're we're probably not a good fit i think the real question you should be asking is why is this price so low 
Why is this investment so low? In my mind, that's the right question to ask. If you think it's too expensive, we can't help you. Okay, this is this is not for you. This is an investment and a decision you need to make for yourself, for your organization. As I as I argue, the real question is why did we put it at three thousand? The reason it is very personal for me, for the ownership here at our company. We want to help as many of you as possible. Like I said, whether or not you buy today does not make one difference to me, to my lifestyle, to our ownership, to our stakeholders, okay? This is about helping you. And we have put it at this level because these times call for measures that we wouldn't normally employ. I mean, look at PPP, payroll protection program, things that the government's offering. These are unprecedented times, right? And we know that when we start to help you with this, you're going to find other opportunities, other things that our organizations can do together. That's going to create income for you. That's going to create income for MindFire. We take the, what's the expression? The long game. I think that's the right expression. This is just the start of the relationship, folks. Okay. So if you think it's too expensive, it's not for you. All right. If you're wondering why is it priced so low, then we should have that conversation. The reason for that is we want to make an investment in you. All right. Um, let's see. Chris is saying, thanks, David. Got to go. Look forward to starting next week. Awesome. And taking my family printing company into the 21st century. Ah. Chris, so cool. I assume you signed up, right, Chris? That's fantastic. Andrew saying, thank you, Mindfire team. I'll be in touch on Monday. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, hallelujah, Dave. If you can't afford it, this isn't for you. Somebody said that, McKenzie, or are you saying that to me? <laughs> I can't tell sometimes with you. Mac, 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 Dizzle. All right, what other questions do you have? I'm saying that to you. Okay, cool. Uh, McKenzie, I assume you saw the questions in Q&A too. I see some questions coming in. Like I'm, I'm a solopreneur. I'm not looking to build a huge funnel. I work with about 50 CEOs or C-suite per year. How can this work for me? Or is the system too robust? Man, how many of you guys have your clients saying you're too robust for them? Um, did you answer that question in Q&A, Mac? I don't know if you saw that. It's in the Q&A tab, not the chat tab. If that person is still here, please drop it in the chat. I want to know. Um, if you're over on Facebook, if you're over on LinkedIn uh, with Kushal, Please let us know if you have any other questions. Uh, somebody's saying here, do we need Snipply or no? No, you do not. That's what this is right here. That's included unlimited access to that, okay? You do not need to buy Snipply. You do not need to buy um, BuzzSumo. Uh, that's $6,000 right there. You do not need to have uh, landing page software. You do not need email software. You can fire your programmers, fire your designers like David's doing um, and the others that are here. So the answer to that is no, you don't need that. Um, let's see. Oh, I see another question coming in for Douglas. Gosh, guys and girls, you're sticking around for a while here. Um, let's see. Shoot. It looks like some of the questions are disappearing here. Um, I, I want to participate, but I would like to speak with our, speak with you about our account. Uh, so, uh, Jessica, if you're here, let's make sure we set that up with, with Leon. Um, awesome. Leon, it's good to see you again. Douglas, you showed how to do emails. How do you do it to post to social accounts? Um, so yeah, in the system, uh, Douglas, where you're configuring your outbound messages, you can say, let's post to Facebook or LinkedIn as an example. Let's use LinkedIn. What you do is you then connect it to your LinkedIn account. You push a button, it connects to your LinkedIn account, and then it gives you the access to whatever you're um, configuring inside of that particular blueprint is going to get pushed um, out via LinkedIn. So it's fairly simple to do. And again, we have training to help you with that. So you do it from within the system. Um, Douglas is also asking, does this replace an interface with an email service like MailChimp? Yes. Um, so many of our clients will get rid of um, the extraneous systems that they've been gluing together to try to do this. So MailChimp is very good for many things, but many folks find that they don't need it. Um, David is saying, I'm worried about having enough, gosh, a lot of Davids today. I'm worried about having enough time to support this program. Oh my goodness. Completely forgot to mention this, folks. If you are in that boat, you want to do this, but you don't have the staff or the resources to do it, we can offer this as a completely done for you service. If that's of interest for, uh, to you, drop that in the chat. I'm remiss that I didn't mention that. Some of you may have an interest in that. Um, let's see. David wants to know about application. Application effectively used for multiple political campaigns. Can you have Dave address political campaigns? Sure. David, we're probably about to do a session with um, the United States Postal Service and their political campaign expert here um, coming up soon. David, if you're still here, I'd um, love to answer that question. Let me know specifically what you want to know. Uh, we do see a lot of political campaigns run through uh, MindFire's platform. 
uh, using a variety of channels. So direct mail still quite heavily used, email, um, and many of the opti-channel uh, mechanisms. That said, there are a lot of candidates that just don't have the technology or the wherewithal uh, to be able to do what needs to be done to compete effectively in today's age. So there's a big opportunity there. Let me know um, what questions you have. Uh, yes, you can text in during speeches. Uh, so I think what McKinsey is saying is um, we have some examples of clients that are doing billboards, other printed uh, material where a short code for SMS is displayed. Like, you know, if you want to follow up on this offer, text uh, this keyword to a certain short code. So you could do that um, for a political speech, a campaign rally, um, things like that to engage the audience in the optimal channel for them, which for many is text. So yes, certainly. Um, McKinsey, can you confirm, give me a, give me a, um, give me an answer, uh, somewhere, whether or not you've been answering the Q and a, the specific Q and a tab, not the chat, but the Q and a, uh, folks, I can still see what you're saying in chat. I can see most of what is going on. Um, and let's see, get people to join list, get people to join list. Also when a political is a politician is speaking or sending a voicemail or anything like that. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, good questions there. Um, you can definitely get people to text in. It sounds like somebody is wondering, can you get responses via SMS? Yes. Um, when somebody is giving a campaign rally or campaign speech? Um, yes, you can do that. You can also set it up in such a way that they can be added to a nurture list, if that's what you're asking, like a list that then that um, candidate is going to be engaging through email or other channels. So yes. Uh, yes, Q&A is handled. Okay, perfect. Awesome. So guys and girls, I still see some of you here. If you're still here and you still have a question, if you're still wondering if this is for you, please, please tell me now what's on your mind. What is on your mind? Go to the chat, go to LinkedIn, uh, whatever it is, and tell me what is it that you're concerned about? Uh, let's see. I'm looking at Q&A. Mackenzie, put the, put the link back in bit.ly forward slash yes da Vinci. Um, and Mackenzie, are there any others? I still see many of you here. Uh, did you fall asleep or are you still thinking? <laughs> I don't think you fell asleep. I want to know what else is on your mind. Mackenzie, I know you're awake. Fred is saying, is a recording going to include these questions? Fred, we can do that if that's helpful. Absolutely. We'll make sure that our team includes these questions. Certainly. Uh, Fred, I don't think I saw your answer. How are you doing? Uh, on a personal note, Fred and I uh, hung out like a bunch of drunk pirates on a boat not too long ago. We weren't drunk. We just had pirate hats on and had a great time together. So uh, Fred then had some health issues. So I'm just curious as to how he's doing. Uh, Nicole is saying, thank you so much for this. I am sold. Ha ha. Great, Nicole. Thank you for your uh, trust in us. I'm glad we were able to serve you today. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next part of this. Thank you again. Um, for joining us. That's so exciting. Kushal says, um, Dave, use Josh Luke's example. He uses text in during speech to sell his books. Okay. So it looks like one of our team is saying Josh Luke, who is an author, he is a, um, a public figure, uh, does presentations where he includes a book purchase at the end of his presentation. And apparently um, he uses SMS during the presentation to help him sell more of his products. So that's another use case. Um, let's see, Fred, I haven't heard from you yet. I hope you're okay. Um, in terms of, um, getting back on your feet, Mackenzie, let me know what other questions you have. Okay. Fred is saying God is good. 12 week follow-up last week in Jacksonville, Florida. Last Friday, I found out no cancer present. Hallelujah. Well, while you were out, we had this little thing called COVID that hit. I don't know if you've heard of it, but <laughs> not to make light of the uh, situation, but Fred, I'm glad you're, uh, I'm glad you're back, man. We're so happy. Hopefully we can help you get your get your business back up and running. And I don't know how you've been handling your customers, but man, I can't imagine the stress of that. So if we can help in any way, uh, please let us know. Uh, yeah, lots of people are still here. What do you folks need? Guys and girls, what do you need? You like just hanging out? Are you lonely? You want to have a drink together or something? I'm here for you, but uh, let me know what you need. <laughs> Fred is saying, what customers? Oh, well, then revenue recovery is what we got to do together, man. Let's do it. Guys and girls, what do you need? LinkedIn, Facebook? What do you need? Bit.ly forward slash yes da Vinci. Kevin is saying drinks will be fine. Kevin, are you on board or do you have a question or some hesitation? Where where, where do you board, stand? Dave. Kevin's on board. Woohoo! Awesome. Wow, there's Mackenzie. 
<laughs> Let's get another voice in Chat here, Max, so I can rest my vocal Chat cords. <laughs> huh? Chat slowed down a little. Okay. Awesome. Well, guys and girls, I'm going to wait another few minutes here. I put eight minutes officially on the clock. Um, what do you need? Okay. Fred says he needs our help for sure. Okay. Is Fred on board as well, McKenzie? Did Fred get uh, engaged? McKenzie? Trying to find the unmute button, huh? Classic Zoom <laughs> issue. <laughs> Not sure. I'm a little behind. I've been chatting with people. He says yes, and we will chat. So okay, cool. that's great. Awesome. Let me call some of the people out here. So if they're asleep, I'm going to try to wake them up. Anna, Anthony. Oh, Brad is here. Brad, are you still here? I see them trying to leave now before I say hi to them. Christy. Hey, Christy. Honestly, this is the first time I had a chance to actually look through the names because there were so many in here. Chuck is here. Hi, Chuck. Dan, David is here. Fred is here twice. That's how much he likes it. JP is here. James is here. Jessica. Hey, Jess. JLH is here. Joan is here. Kent, Kevin, Kim, Leon, my man, Marilyn. Marilyn is my grandmother's name. So I love that name. Nicole is here. Now, Twee, did I pronounce that correctly? Let me know. I'm horrible with names, but Twee, let me know if I got that right. Tim is here. Tom is here. Wayne is here. Um, if, if you're okay, Anthony's asleep. Yeah, no doubt. I know that my, my man, we have <laughs> another kidding. question. Yes. What's the question? <laughs> Do you have any suggestions for faith communities using the technology? Hmm. Can you, where did that question come in from? I'd, I'd like to know a little bit more about what the, what the, what the use case is. Yeah. Let me find out. I believe it's from social. Social. Okay. Is that on, uh, maybe LinkedIn or. Let's find out. Uh, so if I just called you out, if I just called your name and you're still here and attentive, please uh, drop something in the chat there. Let me know if you have a question. Um, are you asleep? Are you uh, overwhelmed? Are you ready to get started? Where do you stand? About another five minutes and then I'm going to close this thing up. Anthony says he's asleep. All right. Wayne, where are you at? Tom, Tim, Twee, did I get your name right? Marilyn, Kim, Kent, Joan, um, Christy, Christy D. Are you here? Would love to uh, hear from you in the chat if you're still here. And then Kushal. Um, oh, Kevin is still here. Yes. Awesome. Cool, Kevin. <laughs> I can see that came in. Yeah. Joan is saying, I'm working while listening. Yes, I understand. My type of person. <laughs> yeah. Multitasking. Um, cool. All right. So, Mac, if you can get that clarification on the faith Waiting communities. Waiting on a response right now. And let me know where to look if that's in um linkedin so if you're still on linkedin if you're seeing me right now on linkedin hearing us on linkedin please hit the like button the heart something uh, because that'll help uh, raise the visibility of this it's very important that more people see this um i think we're going to close here in a few minutes so i want to make sure that if anybody's got any remaining questions this uh 2997 is for today if you have any issues please let my team know. You got to know. Remember, that's less than the price of the software normally, okay? I know it's odd. I know you're probably thinking, why do you do that? This is, if you got the software, it would be more than this, right? But you're getting 12 months access to the software. You're getting the six weeks training, the Done With You campaign launch, the content pack, and the partner program fast launch, all of those things in this package, all of that value. JL is saying, thanks for waking me up. Just kidding. I'm going to order. Thank you. JL, you're welcome for the wake up. That's my mission in life is to help entrepreneurs, business leaders, sales and marketing people wake up to the new realities. So I'm glad we were able to do that. Um, Kamisha is saying, I think I have to renew my subscription. Absolutely, Kamisha, we're, ha we're happy to help. Kushal, I think that's on Facebook. Are you um, working with Kamisha over there on Facebook? Um, let's make sure. Um, okay, LinkedIn. David L is saying he has an application with 1600 churches. Wow. Um, oh gosh, I wish I could see that. Why, why can't I see? Is David L still here, Kushal? Is he still chatting with you? Because I should be able to see him in uh, LinkedIn here. David L, if you're still here, if you can still hear and see me, please let me know there in the chat on LinkedIn. Um, I'm very interested in your 1600 church uh, community. Uh, Mackenzie, what else we got here? Three minutes, folks. Uh, Anna is still here. Brad, Brad, are you, are you listening or did you turn me off? <laughs> Brad, come on. Give me a little love here, man. Uh, Wayne, Tom, Tim, Marilyn, Kim, Kent, Jessica. Jessica, where are you at? James, um, David, another David is here. Uh, Kent is conversing with Mackenzie. It looks like a 
private conversation. I'm interested. Won't have time to act he's, today. I've got other part questions. Of our HP group. Yes, he is. Or actually, he was in one of our. You know, he was in our last cohort. Kent, great to they see do you, some my really man. Really cool stuff. They do color 3D printing. Love it, love it. I know. Um, gosh, Fred, it wasn't you. Maybe it was somebody else. Somebody else who was in 2D that was looking at 3D that I uh, that I was just talking to. Uh, Kushal is, uh, getting Kamisha over there on Facebook. If you're on Facebook right now, if you're seeing me hit a like something that'll help us out, folks. We want to help as many people as we can. If you're on LinkedIn, if you're on YouTube, wherever you happen to be seeing us smash some likes, some hearts, because we want to help as many as we can. Two minutes left. Uh, Fred is saying augmented reality. Yep. Jessica is saying I'm here. I'm on the phone with Joe and getting ready to call Leon. Okay, cool. Jessica. Um, along with Mackenzie, Kushal, Suzanne, Iram, who am I forgetting? Uh, Anthony, there's probably a team of at least half a dozen people that I need to be thanking right now, folks. If you're still here with me, still here with us, we normally don't stay on this long. I must be in a super good mood right now. You got me happy and, and energized here, but I have to thank the entire team. Uh, it, it, I just get to be the dancing monkey in front of all of this here. It's, there's so much that goes on behind the scenes. And we do all of this so that we can serve you, um, help you recover revenue, help you help your families and keep people employed. Okay. So thank you for the opportunity to be here with you today. Um, Mackenzie, I'm looking over at your chat in SMS. I don't see anything else there. Um, in the Q and a folks here in zoom, I'm looking at uh, chat. I don't see anything there. Uh, Facebook and LinkedIn. If you have anything else, please let us know. Otherwise in about a minute, I'm going to draw us to an official close. If you're still here, you want to get the slides, you want to get the recording, you want to listen to the podcast version of this, we will follow up and send that out to everybody. Um, what else do you folks need? Come on, boys and girls, you've got one minute. Please, one minute. How else can I help you? What other questions? What other needs do you have? Uh, if you're here, just drop a one in the chat. If you're even just awake, okay? <laughs> give me a one. Even you, Mackenzie, give me a one in the chat over on Facebook. If you can hear me right now, a one. Okay, Fred, give me a one. Mac, give me a one. Kushal, are you going to give me a one, buddy, or no? <laughs> All right. Anthony is saying promo code. Yeah, it looks like it's just us chickens now, Anthony. Promo code Anthony is uh, 420.42, okay? That's the promo code. James is still here. James, anything I can help you with, my man? Any questions? Has this been helpful to you? What, what was helpful to you all today? You got 20 seconds to let me know. And then I'm going to draw us to a close, folks. I really appreciate everybody being here. James is saying, yes, it was mind-blowing. Ah, thank you, James, for those kind words. Um, I really appreciate everyone spending time. Gosh, you've been here. Some of you have now been here almost two and a half hours, maybe more than that. That's a big investment of time. I hope that we've been able to not only deliver on what we promised to deliver in the training, but over-deliver as well. That's my hope. That's what we try to do everywhere. Um, that's our philosophy. That's what we're going to help teach you to do in this process as well so that you can engage your audience and your tribe and your customers to grow your sales, grow your revenue, all right? Um, Kamisha says, another question here, if you're in the middle of rebranding, do you need to wait to do this? No, you should probably start to do it now because a lot of what you're learning in that six-week course is going to accrue, I call it interest. If you can imagine like a savings account, you make a deposit of goodwill into that savings account, you make a deposit of goodwill with your future customers, and it begins to accrue interest. The sooner you do it, the better. There's this old saying, Alon Barshani from uh, HP Indigo used to always say this. When is the best time to plant a tree? Well, the best time was 10 years ago. The second best time is today. So on that note, Kamisha, I would suggest you do it now. If you did it 10 years ago, 10 days ago, 10 weeks ago, it would have been better, but do it now because the sooner you do it, the better chance you have at uh, getting where you want to be when you, when you rebrand. All right, McKenzie, folks, anybody else? Um, I'm going to draw us to a close. I got to go drink some water. I got to eat some food. Even if the website is outdated, we should, we should take a look at that, uh, Kamisha. It depends how outdated it is because where you can uh, bypass some of those issues is on LinkedIn. I don't know how your LinkedIn profile looks. Um, I don't know if you're B2B or B2C, forgive me. Uh, but LinkedIn can act now these days as almost like a website or a landing page, if you think about it that way. The same thing can happen with your Facebook profile, by the way. So 
you still should consider, uh, if you're considering the opportunity to come aboard today, consider it. I wouldn't let that hold you back. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Anybody else over here? Commissioner, I really appreciate you there over on Facebook. I can see you over on my left. We pull all the chat into one place. Any other questions, folks? Kamisha, any other questions? Uh, Fred Bonebreak is saying, oh, Fred, I didn't mean to list your last name, but I just did. Hopefully that's okay with you. Can you help with Facebook profiles? Yes, we can help with Facebook profiles. What do you need, Fred? Kamisha uh, says we're supposed to have a meeting. Okay, fantastic. Um, what else here? Men and women. I think I'm going to bring us to a close, but you're still chatting with me. All right. So if you have a question, if you're on the fence, what's holding you back? What else can I do? Bit.ly forward slash yes, Da Vinci. McKenzie, I need reassurance from you. <laughs> yes. What do you think? Well, I don't know. I think it seems like people, a lot of people are still here, but I'm not seeing any. Let's uh, anyone last question. <laughs> let me, let me call them out one more time and see if anybody else engages. Okay. See ya, Fred, Anna, Brad, come on, Brad, wake up my man. Christy. I really wish I wish I could hear from you, Christy. I like in, engaging you online. Chuck, David, Fred's leaving JP, James, Jessica. I know what Jessica's doing. JL, Kent, Kim, Leon, Marilyn, Nicole, Tim, Tom, Wayne, Kamisha, anybody over on LinkedIn? Any last questions? You have a few seconds. James, are the payments monthly? Depends what you signed up for, uh, James, or what you sign up for. Let me go back here. Okay, so $29.97 is one time. If you want to pay monthly, we have the 10 payment option here. $9.97 now, and then nine payments, yes, monthly of 297. If you put this on a credit card, obviously, you know this, you can make monthly payments to your credit card company for the 2997, okay? James, does that make sense? Let me know um, if you have any questions about that. Um, gosh, you guys are still asking questions. Yeah, awesome. So it looks like I woke up a few people. I'll try it one more time. Wayne, Tom, Tim, Marilyn, Leon, Kim, <laughs> Kent. We want we want a 10 second a 10 second countdown live as if it's New Year's Eve from you. Uh-oh. All right. I don't know if I can do that on demand. Fred, I know what Fred's <laughs> doing. David, Chuck, Christy, Brad, Anna. Um Mackenzie, if you can check that question that I just asked you in in the uh Ring Central, uh let me know. Kushal, you still alive and kicking over there, buddy? What else you got? Okay, James, uh, do you have any questions, James Franklin? Um, how long is the training session? Okay, let's pull that back up. Great question. And maybe start with the orientation. So let's just say all the people that sign up today, let's say James signs up. What's he going to experience going forward from today forward in terms Perfect. of training, orientation, all that kind of stuff? Yeah, so uh, James, to answer your question, I'm flipping through the slides here to find the right one. Um, like Mackenzie said, coming out of today, when you sign up today, you're going to be in an orientation that's about, and, and uh, over there in the webinar chat, Mackenzie, can you get confirmation on this, please? That it's about 30 to 45 minutes, the orientation. And that's next Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Okay. So James, that's the first thing you'll be in is next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, you get to pick. All right. We're going to follow up with you and get you into one of those. And then the following Tuesday begins this six week training workshop. And that is normally about 75 minutes, okay? So about 60 minutes of training for each of those topics that we um, had here on the screen. Let's see um, where they are. I'll pull them up. Um, the, the training is about 60 minutes. And then we have a uh, usually about a 15 to 20 minute set of Q&A where we get live into the questions, uh, drop into the software, go into LinkedIn, help you, do, you know, tactically understand how to implement some of what you did. So that's, that's typically what these sessions look like, those six weeks. Did I, did I answer that? So it's six weeks long in terms of the calendar, about 75 minutes in terms of what's on your um, calendar each day. They're recorded. You get a classroom access with access to the, all the recordings, to um, any of the materials that we use, the PDFs. You get access to a private group where everybody is um, engaging. There is a, um, a seven-day challenge that's a part of it. There's so much that I haven't even described to you. Um, where there's prizes and cool stuff for those of you who actually um, achieve the objectives. There's multiple winners um, in some of these challenges. So James, did I answer your question? Let me know. 
Iram, come on. Jess, is the orientation 30 or 45 minutes? Help a brother out here. Let me know how long that is. I want to make sure I set the right expectation. So training is one day per week over six weeks. Correct, James. One day per week over six weeks. That is absolutely correct. Um, let's see here. James, let me know what other questions you have. Is there a problem with that for you, James? Is that something that's difficult for you for some reason? Um, let us know. I want to pull something up here. Um, gosh, I don't know. I don't know if there's anyone here other than James, but I still see many, many names. Is our first campaign then on a, on seven week? No, uh, typically. So here's a great question from James. Um, that first campaign uh, that we help you set up, if you're if you're ready to go, usually a week to two weeks is all you're going to need. Okay, so in orientation, that's one of the next steps that we're going to set is your first campaign, how to actually start that process. And so many people can do it within a week or two weeks with our help, with our tutelage, with our, with our gentle and loving push, okay? So James, no, you do not have to wait till the end of that, of that period, okay? Um, let me read this here. James, can you see this, what Bill wrote here? In a nutshell, you're a software company, and your software is relatively bulletproof, solid, and robust, but you take it beyond that. You teach people how to maximize the possibilities. You critique them, James, that's important, and then you encourage them to reach further. You're a coach and a cheerleader, a mentor and a friend to many. I never appreciated Mindfire like I do now until February of this year when the big C, Corona, came knocking on our door and we were pandemic-driven. You have been the lifeblood, lifeblood of our very rudimentary effort to change how we communicate and interface with clients. I even found the curiosity to learn and motivation to finish my first corporate video plant tour to replace a resident client tour of our facility. And then we used your software to deliver the video link to 2,200 people. Today, Kushal, Kushal is actually overseas product for us, but he gets very involved with customers. Kushal wrote me, and made a techie suggestion on a recent campaign. I took the advice and fixed the problem. And I learned something new, very powerful stuff for me. Kushal didn't have to take an interest in me, but he did. You have empowered me in ways I never imagined, empowered me as a marketing and sales manager. And the things that I am doing, supporting my sales team, and they're engaged on LinkedIn, augmenting what I am doing. I'll be honest, pre-February, I had no real appreciation for the service that I have been paying for over four years and not using to its potential. Now, when I talk to my village, he means his tribe, they are mere clicks away. DaVinci, our software, makes it intuitively easy for me and I'm learning more every day. That's the power. So you get a high score. He's talking about a score that he gave us for our service. You have empowered me in my company. And I read this during the training. Your, your offering is far above that of a software company. When this is over, I think when he means the pandemic, I might be indebted to you for the survival of my 100 and, what does that say? 133 or 135 year old company. Thank you. 133. That 133. literally makes me want to cry. Yep. That is so cool. James, I hope to be able to get a message from you like that someday and from the others who just joined today. I think on that note, James, do you have any other questions? Um, we lost our main line of business completely in March of this year because of the pandemic. Yep. Now we're trying to pivot to a new related line of business, which needs social media marketing. Yep. Hey, you know and what, Dave, just, just, uh, James, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe you're from a company that does trade show displays or does displays. Is that correct? Because if so, Dave, you know, what might be helpful for James is to talk to him about our quick start for being able to do, to put on virtual events. Because if they're looking for something to pivot to, it is related to events and it's related to client and prospect relations, but mm. obviously it's not blocked by the ability to be in front of people. So James, if, if I'm correct on that, um, that might be a good tip for you because it's a closely related industry. Mackenzie, you, you know why people that? might be sticking around? They, they heard me say that you were going to turn on your video at some point. <laughs> I will. I'm happy to do that. All right, let's take a look. Okay. <laughs> I don't see you. James, yeah. did she get that right? So yes, but we are now working on a new line of business, promotional items. Yeah, we have other clients oh. that are doing promotional okay. items. Fantastic. So James, I don't know if you have a way to sell those promotional items, uh, like an e-commerce storefront or, or simple way for folks to order, but there is commerce functionality built into the system, James, that should help you. 
Social media marketing, which you mentioned, is part of that six-week course. Um, you know, we're training you on LinkedIn. There's Facebook. There's other channels. Um, there's a lot that we can offer you in that six-week course. So it sounds like um, we have everything that you need to help you make this pivot. That's why we're, we're doing this. Um, yes, we're all set up for selling them perfect, but we need help to find these opportunities. Yeah. So for uh, there you are. I've been here. <laughs> How do I know it you? wasn't just a bot or something? No, it's um, me. But yeah, I also think that for you, James, um, it's, we have noticed and other organizations have noticed that when you pivot, a lot of times the market that you previously sold the other products to is actually a good market for these. So as an example, if someone was ordering custom displays for you, I'll just tell you, I do a lot of our marketing here at Mindfire and we spent a lot of time going to trade shows, right? And when we went to trade shows, part of what we did was making sure that our booth looked really good so that it attracted people. Um, the other thing we did is to make sure that we ran marketing programs to set up pre-scheduled appointments. Um, so I'm thinking about it from your vantage point, right? If you're now going to pivot and sell promotional items or sell anything, while it may be a different product, the audience that you're marketing to could be, there could be overlap. So what I'm saying is if you have lists of people that you've previously sold to, previous customers or even current customers, when you pivot, I encourage you to market to those people and let them know about what you can now offer and how they can leverage what you offer now to adapt to the current marketplace, right? So you can't, you don't need trade show displays because no one's coming to your booth because there is no shows, right? But what we're helping with is this. Um, I was speaking to a print organization out of New York. They do a lot of uh, marketing for financial services companies who do lunch and learns and trade shows. So basically like a financial service company will host an event or go to trade shows where they have booths. Well, now what the printing organization is doing, because a lot of these organizations have extra budget because they're not spending tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars on trade shows, is they're sending everyone who attends their virtual webinars a package. And in that package is promotional items. So James, if you have companies who previously were using trade shows to market, and now you help them pivot to putting on virtual events, you can give them the idea that they should send each of those high value attendees a package with promotional items. Now you're not saying, Hey, buy my promotional items. You have given them a brand new solution to adopt to the current times. And yes, of course, by the way, you've pivoted and you can provide those promotional items. So that's just, I mean, obviously I don't know the full context of the story to put just based on what you're saying. That sounds like a, um, something you might want to think about. James, what's on your mind? What, what's, um, what are you concerned about? Um, hey, Dave, why don't you look at his latest comment? Yeah, James, why don't you take a hike, my friend? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, James. Don't kill me. Whatever it takes to make you happy. <laughs> no, we get that all the time, um, James, about our about our staff. No, it's okay, James. It's it's a it's a compliment. Um, we have created a culture within Mindfire, within our community of customers and, and prospects where that is a very common reaction that people have. And that's what you're going to find when you work with, with Mindfire. So for all of you who are still here, I don't know if it's just me, James and Mackenzie talking here, but James said, Hey, Mackenzie, can you come work for us? So that's, that's a joke. <laughs> um, but James, <laughs> seriously, if you, if you do want to discuss this or need help or just want to strategize ideas, um, as Dave said, many times, you know, we're all in this pandemic together. We're all trying to shift and pivot and help one another out. So happy to hop on a call and go over some of these ideas. I, um, discussed you know here. here's fred's idea uh for you james send the attendees lunch while on the webinar and they can get it delivered with a service love cool. it yeah now it's turned into a brainstorm session uh but james <laughs> my question other than you wanting to hire mckinsey is what's on your mind what else can we answer what else uh, uh do you need to know in order to make the decision um james says appreciate all of your ideas cookies for all amen cookies for all it uh, looks like Kushal's still working with some people over there on Facebook as well. Gosh, never knew that people would hang out this long. They must like you, Mackenzie. <laughs> they must like you. <laughs> James, let us know what else we can do to help. I'm going to call out a few other people, and then I think we should bring this to a close. Um, looks like Kushal's still working with uh, Kamisha over there on uh, Facebook. Wayne, Tom, wake up, fellas. Tim, Marilyn, Kim, Kent, <laughs> Jessica, what are you doing? I know James, JP, Fred is still here. Thought he was Anna's leaving, but gonna, Anna's going to be in our training this week. Anna's, we're going to see Anna tomorrow or? I think it's tomorrow. Or I always get this confused. Okay, Christy, <laughs> gosh, Christy, where are you? Chuck is here, my friend Chuck. Fred, see you again. Yep. Okay. Men and women, 
One last time, bit.ly forward slash yes to Vinci. If you have any questions, now's your chance to ask them. Otherwise, we're excited to see everybody who's come aboard. We're going to be seeing you uh, next week. It looks like um, my team is chatting back and forth. Mackenzie, was there anything in that chat that we missed that we need to uh, highlight, or are we good to go here? I think we're good to go. Okay. Well, fellas, ladies, thank you for your time. Appreciate you. Oh. If you have any other questions, uh-oh, what happened? We got an answer from Jess. Um, the orientations can be 30 to 45 minutes, sometimes an hour, especially, you know, depending on how interactive with people okay. are. Okay, so. so we'll block out an hour for everyone, I assume, then, is what we do. Is that right? Jess, That's maybe right. you can confirm. All right, with that, guys and girls, we're going to call it a day here. Thank you for everyone's time and attention. Um, if you have any questions, you know where to find us. Uh, we're happy uh, that we had the opportunity to serve you today. So for me and McKinsey and the entire team behind this training, and then the entire organization behind that team here at Mindfire, we thank you for your time and we'll see you very soon. Have a great rest of the day, everybody.